Alrighty, everybody, welcome to I Am Teams Finals. Big, big fall semester turning Teams Finals. Going to be four teams facing off. Battle of the best for the fall 2022 semester. I am Suizo or Harrison, one of your two hosts, GMU resident for today, joined by the one and only John Mahjong of UW. <laughs> I hate that nickname so much now. You don't like John Mahjong? John Mahjong's great. The John Mahjong. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even doing much. That's <laughs> uh, fine. All right, so you want to go into uh, a little bit of detail on, um, I guess, how the format's going to work today, John? Yes. So yesterday on a Saturday, we had qualifiers where six teams played each other. Play each other. Each team played a total of eight Hanchons, and their UMA values were put together to determine the top four. Um, ultimately, being eliminated was Trinity and Wisconsin's Team B. Um, so now in the final final four, we've got we've got Virginia Tech, Wisconsin, UT Austin, and ITCG. And for the final, it's got to be similar to how the main phase was played. Eight Hanchons per team. Two Hanchons will be played simultaneously in four slots, in four hour slots. And um, we'll add up the UMA values from each of those games. UMA is 30, 10, minus 10, minus 30. We'll put those together and yeah, whoever has the most points at the end is the champion. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit interesting um, this semester. Having those extra four games to play with and also giving every player two chances to get in. Um, so maybe if they have a bad game or can really capitalize on two good ones is uh, going to definitely make it a bit more competitive, make it a bit more interesting for the finals. Um, but we're still a couple minutes off from starting out. Right now we do got something special, though. I believe we are going to be getting some of the captains in to do some pre-game interviews kind of pick their brains, see what they're thinking about going into the finals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to hear a perspective um, straight from the ground, uh, straight from the ground, straight from the players yeah. who are going to be playing in, in this. I actually played in IM for the first time yesterday, and I have so much respect for, I have so much respect for tournament, for these tournament players now, because it's so tense. It's so hard being the anchor especially being the anchor being put on those last two honchons and you basically have to you have to basically have to sink or swim oh yeah i mean yeah. uh last semester when i was anchor for gmu i remember uh i was anchor and i had to play for <laughs> double yakumans for an entire <laughs> honchon to try to uh get us to qualify for day two Definitely a super yeah. fun experience. This is also uh, interesting, not only in the extra Hanchons for the format, but uh, also the um, the disabling of Akka. So there's no Akka Dora and no Red Fives. Um, so value is going to be a lot harder to get for players and snuffing hands out, nipping them in the bud with a small one or two K hand um, to stop those really big uh, rare Mangans Hanemons, all that is going to be a much, much more potent strategy this time around. Remember in the individuals tournament, we did we didn't have Akas there either, and we only ended up seeing one Baimon the entire tournament. Mm -hmm. They are a and lot strangely enough, also that in. person who got Baimon ended up finishing fourth in the game. <laughs> <laughs> that so maybe Baimons are cursed. Maybe that's why you got to jump up, you got to skip Baimon, just go for mm -hmm. Hanemons or Sambas. Um, let's see if we can get, I think we're trying to get Sheen to join up. Maybe we can even move him in here. I'll move him in here. Oh, there we go. Hey, oh, he left back. <laughs> All right, I'm oh. moving him. Hi, Sheen. Ah, <laughs> uh, hi, hi, Harrison. Uh, hi, John. Welcome, welcome. So, uh, going into this, how are you feeling about your team? How are you feeling about the chances to take it all the way? Well, we're pretty confident, like, uh, because our na uh, team name is Team Tsumo only, and we're Tsumo for every round, so. Really? You think 
no Irans, <laughs> none at all today. Can we can we trust uh, that? Maybe you hold me to it. Ah, uh, maybe. <laughs> so who uh, who are you looking out for this tournament, or what kind of strategy are you playing? Anything particular, or just just sumos all around? So yeah, our strategy is try to make sure we can get at least second, then mm -hmm. try to uh, try hard to get the first. If you got fourth, then just, <laughs> just do your best to clutch back. Otherwise, we'll, we'll like just uh, laugh at the player. Mm -hmm. Try to keep yourself looking, close enough. Absolutely. I'm looking at the qualifier results and arguably VT was the most impressive team. All, no fourths and only one <laughs> third. Yeah, and we 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 like loved at the third 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 place player. Yes, last last night, <laughs> because he's the only one who got, got third. <laughs> uh, so we are just joking around. <laughs> All right. Well, but well, yeah. Yeah, don't want to keep you too long. We know uh, you're about to play in first slot for your game, so definitely got to prep for that. Yeah. Get ready, get your head yeah. in. So good sure, luck. Sure, sure. Be looking okay, forward to your you. performance. Yep. Sure. Thanks. So B Tech looking to just play solid Mahjong, keep close enough to get first at any moment, try not to fall too far behind. Pretty good strategy, I think, going into the uh, finals. Definitely the right attitude to take. So, 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 shall we bring in the other person? Yep. Looks like now we're gonna get uh, UW's captain, right? Not necessarily our Not captain, captain, but just a UW player. player. Yep. But that's good enough. I'm sure, they're in contact. I believe we're gonna be getting Dio in. So, if you want to bring them in, John. Sure. We'll get that started. Hi. How are you doing? Uh, I was hello, gentlemen. Uh, hello, Thanks hello. Thanks for coming in, doing this interview, representing the good old University of Wisconsin. So, yeah. uh, does your team have any thoughts going into the finals? You know, what are you looking out for? What is your strategy going in? What's going around? You know, we're trying to uh, keep the same strategy we did as yesterday. So um, start with a strong start and then um, just try to keep stabilized after in the beginning. Um, yesterday we had a pretty solid performance um, in terms of this strategy. I would say uh, we just have to be mindful on slip ups on like the second half. But um, once we got that covered, um, we should be all Gucci. Hey, there you go. Can't hate that. So if you do slip up in the first half, what is kind of going to be how are you going to attack that in the second trying to make up that difference you got any ideas if the game plan goes wrong and you do have to adapt to that situation yeah so um currently um thankfully our last two players are um the best between the, the both or the four of us so they kind of also save as a lifeline so mm -hmm. if um me or tungsten tiger um just decides to slip up and just like go into fourth or something like that um we we have or at least we combined within our teams that um our team members are just gonna pull and go full aggressive um so you may expect us first to like go a little bit safe slash aggressive in the beginning um and depending on the outcome our second two players have like kind of a reactive play style so they shall play um regarding not only their points but you know just the overall points they have um, in the team and what what is needed to actually win the tournament and not win the game. Yeah, that looks like a really solid strategy. I know uh, just looking at the matchups that are placed ahead, uh, a lot of teams opted to just run um, in pairs, having one person at each table. And uh, while you guys did have pairs, you at least switched between tables. Um, do you think that you're kind of losing out on value um, potentially by having one player sort of um, not having the adaptation of seeing one game um, that they play against the table and then being able to take advantage of anything they see there? Or do you think that switching up who's where and what the matchups are with the surrounding players, do you think that is going to be more beneficial to you? 
I mean, hopefully um, both of the pairs are like two competent players. So at the end of the day, um, like if the only thing we will be missing out if like we're playing against a bot player <laughs> and um and we would be missing out on points but um since we're all like decent enough players i feel like um both of us could exploit this um opening of a player that doesn't know really what he's doing on the table so uh, by switching up the pairs is actually uh, an advantage for us because um you know the guys that we played before will know our play style but won't exactly know the play style of the guy that's coming in that we just switched up so I do believe that switching up may gives us um, an advantage against our opponents. Yeah, well, good luck in your games. I know you're up in this first slot. Don't want to keep you too long, as that's going to be starting in just a minute. Going to be looking really forward to seeing UW's performance today. Cool. All right, thank you very much. Thanks for the hosting the interview. Absolutely. Thanks so much for coming out. Good luck. All right. Good streaming. Bye-bye. So, John, right, it's just, UW native, just, how are you feeling about that? How are you feeling about them going in? You like where their uh, head is at? You uh, you thinking their strategy is uh, solid? I'm, conf I'm confident. Think this is UW's semester? <laughs> I'm confident. I think the strategy is solid. We're not we're not phased by like the by like having scheduling conflicts. Um, I think we've. I, I think we've got a solid strategy. We've we've put we've certainly put on the practice. We've had all of the A plays play each other last night, and yeah, I think we're I think we're ready going into this. Ooh, certainly not going to be certainly not going to be easy, but uh, way well, things I mean, are looking, finals, this might be the last. You know, way things are looking, this might be the last teams tournament that I host. So. Um, yeah, we. I mean, yeah, whoever wins this becomes immortal champions in kind of a sense. <laughs> I was gonna say, with the way uh, I am is trending, I can't imagine someone isn't gonna take up the reins. How many? Do you know the uh, number of colleges that we have in I am at the moment? What is oh, that? geez, like a good twenty at least twenty different ones with one representative, maybe even more. Well, I can hit you with the ones who did so who did sign up for the last tournament. I mean, even just in the Discord, there's seventeen schools signed up for the last individuals tournament, and in terms of schools, we've got at least a couple more than that, right? About twenty-five to thirty. Hey, that's not too bad at all. Yeah. I've got to have a little bit of a cold doing doing commentary because... <laughs> I mean, around been, this time of the year, it, it is cold, cold, cold. It's been it's been freaking freezing in Madison lately. Well, what is it? Buffalo is getting, uh, what, six feet of snow, I think, this weekend? Mm-hmm. It is, it is crazy. I mean, they're even talking about uh, canceling the NFL game entirely because they moved it to Detroit because Buffalo was going to be unplayable. And then um, it, it's looking like the Bills are just going to get snowed in. They're not even going to be able to get out of it. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. Um, there's a whole safety thing going on with sports. Um you kind of notice Formula One, they used to take pride in racing in the rain, and now they don't exactly do it as much now. Um, yeah, if they, I mean, if there's too much snow in Buffalo, I think they're going to have to cancel the game. But I think another thing, another thing I want to bring up, what kind of, what kind of was a point of pride in, I mean, it, with like the Green Bay Packers fan base, because I am a Packers fan. And, <laughs> oh yeah. Um, one one bit of pride was how like. Lambeau Field, Lambeau Field, especially during playoffs, it's freaking cold. It's sometimes snowing, and it's just like a real intimidating place to. I mean, if you're like the road team, but nowadays not so much anymore. San Francisco seemed to hold their own last year in Lambeau Field. I mean, we'll definitely have to see how things turn up, but I think we're going to take a quick minute to finalize the setup and get this next game about to go so we will be right back
Alrighty, we are back. Um, game is going to be starting in just a second now. Looks like we have um, about one minute until the game starts. Bit of a late jump, but games are underway. Just waiting for that five minute delay to go up. Um, first off, we are going to be streaming. Don't, for uh, don't forget to change the screen this time. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll change it. We'll give it a second. Okay. Try to get the tournament ID out. Um, but we got Sheen or Nikmo, um, Tungsten Tiger 72, MCP, and Haruzen. Haruzen being one of the people in the finals for individuals, right? Yeah. Yeah, they play, yeah, they're the, they're also the player who swept the qualifier for individuals. Yeah, so, should be a good table. Uh, really interestingly, Sean gave a stat to while we were away about how these four teams combined in the qualifier had four four place finishes meaning over all the eight hanshans combined it was about one fourth place finish per team but obviously when they're all put against each other um there's going to be a lot more variety going on and it's going to be a lot harder in order for these teams or they're going to uh have to kind of adapt to that better but game one, we are going to have underway. Let's get these hands shown. So starting out with the dealer, uh, not too much, but Anko Forman definitely up. Not too bad of a hand. Too bad Tungsten Tiger, double Dora in the hand to start. Oh. Great shape around and is going to opt to take the third with the Tanya push definitely a scary hand the table is going to have to pick a part and recognize that there is some lethality there now shin's got a pair of green dragons that's always now they've got triple green the dragons Marco, this could be a reach two peen will do it same with four or two so either of those will put in the reach could she sheen immediately do it with counter pressure tungsten Try to encourage them to back off, but it leaves Sheen so much more susceptible to a very scary deal in. And, f oh, no, with all fours dead, though, that could spell disaster. Sheen often kill the three. Keep the one oh. for a safe reach tile, it looks Gee. like. Arzen's opening up very interesting in the face of Dora 3. I wouldn't particularly push this hand. It, it looks like it's only worth one Han. Yeah, there's not a lot of value. I get trying to snuff the hand out quick. And that is Tenpai, though. They were each on 10, hit the perfect. Oh, and the immediate run! Oh, I didn't even notice Tungsten at the double! That's not a good start. On the first table! That's not what you want to see. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. And that is <laughs> going to be a big hit to UTA to start. That is not how they want to go. Ooh. Yeah, that is a toughie. You you do that that is the I mean, I, want, I wouldn't say that's a terrible start. They're only down 8,000, no, and yeah, we still it's have only about a game Mon to Gun, go. So there's, there's a lot of game to catch up, but even the psychological Bunya. warfare of just eating a double Ronda start on your reach tile does not feel good. I, I don't even think that was that far in. I think that was, what, 7th tile, 8th tile discarded? Definitely not something you're expecting to get double rond on. I mean, it was an inside, but geez. And already almost a tenpai for Nekro or Sheen with VTech. I've pl I played Shin twice in the tournament, and I noticed they tend to go for whatever the quickest hand is oh, at the yeah. moment. Yeah, they, they will race the hand every time. Always best value on the board. Or not necessarily best value, but always just pushing hands and then falling back on defense if needed. Oh, and great recognition recognition right there. So cutting uh, the one so there gets out the two so tempi, which in this case doesn't matter because it draws the third three so. Um, but there it was definitely better to kill the one or four off. Try to get the Ron then on the Manzu if it'll come up. 
I'm in a very interesting hand for Tungsten. Could potentially see seven pairs thrown up. Er, no, actually, gone Shantan for seven pairs. So I probably won't be seeing that. But decision to make. Could see a 5S cut here, potentially. Thinking maybe 8M. What, what, yeah, they go for 8M. Um, MCP also looking like they could go for seven pairs. They've got four of the pairs right now. Yeah, I was going to say, this laid in, this laid in four pairs is just not enough to go on. Even five here is a little rough. But yeah, four is just going to be basically unplayable. Harzen opting to drop that. Very oh, yeah. interesting. Not liking the 6S discard. Not too sure. Here's the that. Shin special. The I mean, the Tonki wait. <laughs> Shin special. Tanya open Tonki. Or it's not Tanya. It's Yakuhai. It's Yakuhai, but waiting on the Tonki, I mean. Oh, but that's a terrible ops to not wait on the Tonki. But the problem is, 6 is all bundled up. One more to be seen. Not too Thompson much Tiger's gonna gonna drama this this Dom one on one the more oh, I mean, with all the ones out, I really can't blame them. You know, like playing only four peen, that weight is so hard to come out, especially looking at your board. Pinzu looks super lethal. Oh, but could see okay, two switching. five. Not easy, but doable. They're thinking really hard this, about whether they want to call light. reach. Dama. They have to switch the weight, but dom it up. Could potentially even seven pairs reach as well. Kanya. Oh, but they'd have the to put con. They have to put down the six M. I mean, the yeah, process. they trade it. They trade it for whatever comes out. Yeah, but that would deal in. That's a good point. Oh, the red is so good. Nope, ops just take the reach on it with the pressure. Harizen counter reaches. Harizen reaches also. Three people in ten. Ours in ten looking for the six, I think. Oh no, that's disaster. Or wait, there's still one six to be found. Is that a three six weight? I'm missing something here. No, just that's go, gotta be just, just look at inside the, Just six. look at the towels that are red. <laughs> yeah, so th so Sheen on the three six weight. Sheen at furry ten actually. That's not good. Ooh. One six M to be seen. One. Th 3M still not found. Doesn't look like anything's coming out. Don't and again, left. the fives are buried. I tell you, nothing's gonna happen gonna here, gonna probably. Out. Three deal in tiles buried in the wall. <laughs> look at that. One 6M gone, one 3M gone, one 2P gone. And that's gonna keep dealership for Tungsten Tiger. I mean, really can't hate. I mean, everybody can't really be too upset with that i mean there's so much value on the board that even just coming across with the only person MCP and Necra not the only person who'd be upset here would be mcp oh, they yeah. just lost another three thousand points that's i mean here's the thing though with with you have no idea what's lethal you're going against two regis on double con and also harzan already 10 by harzan's already 10 by but is it no yaku it's seven mon no yaku but I mean, also a chance to get Epeko on the door to clean it up a bit. A lot of options. Could also just opt to pawn the east. Um, or try to get the east and then Tonki on it. And oh, Harzen, oh. little tricky. Okay. Pushing the Honitsu okay. with Dora, okay. I don't okay. know about that seven, I don't know about that seven P pawn though. That The hand's so much clunkier with it. And you're kind of gearing to give up Dora with that play. Did so, Har is Harzen telegraphing the path flush a bit too much, though? Look at those oh, first Oh, it's scissors. super telegraph. We're not seeing it from anybody. Sheen also firing back with another half flush. Harzen gets the pawn on the eights. There might be a toy toy route in all this. Toy toy so, one need to. So if MCP or Tungsten Tiger are paying attention, then clearly the characters are safe. Yeah, Manzu are going to be the safest suit yeah. by far. Yeah, Sheen fully telegraphed half, and then Harizen fully telegraphs Pinzu. Um, very interesting scenario. I mean, right now, you're not too worried about Sheen, right? Because even the Honitsu isn't really going to be that big of a deal. Let's Wait, be honest. Han. Yeah, it's only two Han, and it's not their wind. 
So it's not too many points. You're much more worried about Harzen um, with the Dora potential with that suit. Um, as well as the two pawned. Two. You also, I think in the back of your mind, you're thinking, well, is it a toy toy fake? Can I see um, some offsuits played in the hand? Um, definitely very scary. I, I feel like Tungsten here is just going to fold out too. Yeah, just yeah, that, hop to, that's uh, a pretty safe play. And yeah. Tungsten has a lot of Monzu. You're, yeah, you're up too. There's no oh, reason the to shit fight this. Special. Oh, the Tungsten special! Oh, the Tungsten special! If only we had Lota Yaku, the Tsubame. I think it's Tsubame Gaishi, I want to say, is the is uh, what you're talking waiting. Is this Jin special? Some somehow he's ma somehow he's managed to get lucky and just win off of a single dial. Hey, it happened twice. Mesmerized by the shiny button. Many at home are gonna sympathize with that sentiment. Oh, but Tempai three six. Tempai for three six MVP. Monzu. Oh, and that's two dragons. That's gonna hurt. Tungsten gets the fold out. The north tile. Arson. Oh, shit! Yes. <laughs> Shade with the right. And the lowest value <laughs> score on the board that is playing the hand wins out. <laughs> Shin with the 2k. Oh. The Shin special. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh, wow. What a hand from Horizon. Interesting. I think hey, that is of, the right play. Cut the characters. Lots of... Don't get jaded on them. Oh, I love passing up the one Pina Mia. Or the one mon immediately too. Do not get jaded with the half flush. Take your time, play it safe. Although Tungsten... Especially with a lot of singular honor characters, I mean honor tiles, it's gonna oh, be yeah. a little bit tough. Tungsten has a bit more of an option though. A lot of really strong Sozu and the guaranteed Yakuhai with an East drop as well as a West to try to buff it. I'd imagine Six Mon comes out here. Nope, trying to obscure the hand with the two being. Respect it. Little redundant too, and it looks like MCP might be forcing out a half again. Not too bad of a hand to do it with, but a little clunky. May have been worth it just to try to push the reach obscure, especially if you can end on the one four mon. Definitely one of my weaknesses. To... One of my weaknesses is if I'm down in the east round and i t and i s i see a decent hand not even good hand just decent i i feel i i want to push that right away and yeah, i'm wondering if any I mean, other players will have that mindset pushing but pushing like slowing your hand down that much for that value when even just trying to go for the reach and keep it obscured too to get roughly the same value it's like you got to be careful could also see the wrong drop here nope Sheen Negra is going to be Dama'd on the 8S. I, I could see an argument to reach for that. Ops to and they're reach gonna reach on the that. Dora. <sighs> see, I don't like that. I don't think reach. I think reaching on the Dora just gives away that you have no value. At MCP. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, and MCP. Yeah. Luckily, Yeah. Epoch is going to help to reclaim it because it worked out. Oh, in the Ura, uh, that's going to hurt. Ooh. On gone coming out. And UTA not feeling too good right now, at least on this table. Not sure how the other one's going, but MCP is not I, feeling too good. At South One, I can give an update on the other table. Oh boy, we may get an update. Yeah, how uh, can you see scores or do you just know placement? I can, I mean, I can just open up my Mahjong Soul account it's, and like see scores. It's not too big. We can maybe later in the games, but right now when it's so fresh, yeah, not too much of a point. So MCP, this is gonna be a big, big dealership for them. Um, this is the time you want to take to regain value, make yourself a player in this game. If you let this dealership patch up um, or pass up, you're going to be playing from behind the whole rest of the game and then essentially just nerfing yourself um, for when South 4 comes around and you get your second dealership. Then people are gonna be trying to end the game quick to get UMA bonuses, all that. Um, so right here, you really wanna make yourself competitive for first still. 
And not too uh -huh. bad of a hand to do it. It's in decent shape, but needs another pickup or two. I believe that's a round shot 10 hand. Sheen. Got some nastiness going on too. Could see a Sean Pwned coming out. I believe that's another round shot 10. Kongston, a little bit of interesting, but not too much spicy happening. Banya! Arizon. Very... Still has a bit of ways to go on their hand. Lots of hands that still have to be filled quite a lot. Interesting move for Sheen. Sheen opts to play, uh, shoot, what is that? Uh, the half outside. I don't know why I can't remember the name right now. Um, but half, Sheen, out, half outside hand. Trying to, yeah, trying to remember the Japanese one. It's yeah. blinking on it, but, uh. Very, very interesting push to commit, um, especially being, I think, Ishan 10 before that. But now well, what's tough is, what's tough totally is that, like, there's right? there's only two specific tiles that you need to make this hand work, and both of them have to come down from MCP, and MCP's gonna um, Dama here MCP with the success. Try to definitely, yeah, try to pull some value. That looks like a, a that looks like a good up a good opportunity to upgrade. Yeah, definitely with all those options, could even potentially Sean Pwn, I was gonna say not anymore though. Uh, that would be yep, just a one pin drop unless you want to wait on seven by itself. But giving up the Dora for a single tile hell wait definitely Gee. is not worth it in that scenario. And tungsten sniffing out that nobody has anything quick. Looking to push through. Yeah, MCP not getting those upgrades. I wonder if I I really wonder if M I mean, if Tungsten makes another call, then MCP's gonna re gonna think about reaching and Reach putting the, the pressure up. on. I mean, it could be. I mean, you're behind in value, right? You're only really worried about it going to like no 10, but you still get Tenpai, you just lose out on 1k in that scenario. Oh, but the sumo comes out! Ooh. Lost on the Ricci points, but still getting the hand. Although that 2-3 to three. Three push could have been very, very big. But either way, Tungsten reclaims it. Another chance to dealer. I want to that personally. Hmm? I think I would have reached that. You're, I mean, you're a dealer. You need points. Yeah, I try to scare I... people off too. Might as well yeah. take the, might as well take the chance. Go, go for the, go for value, especially, especially, especially in dealer in East Four. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess the thought was that like, clearly other people's hands were close, at least from the perspective of MCP with all those opens try to at least if you draw something scary uh keep a dama up or like if you draw dora um go for the shampoo on one pin 5m but either way tile's drawn and i believe that is not quite ishanten but very close for mcp with necro having very very slow hand tungsten having some clunky pickups to upgrade and harzen not a lot going on so this could be very easily another dealer repeat, and there's the pair pickup. Oh, could upgrade into e Peko too. Love that drop right there. Really big fan. Or not e Peko, excuse me, uh, Sanchoku. Sanchoku, lots of points too. Pair would be a little bit harder to figure out, but you can always figure that out later. it has got two so pockets. Potentially C6 and pairs. dropped. Oh, that's definitely a misplay from MCP. Reachy. That is the six drop absolutely Banya. there. Reachy for Tungsten Tiger oh, on the 5 8 no. and gets it right away! Oh, she calls the, the puss. An immediate Up. next drop. Oh, and that's Up. a big one. Or it's only hey, a Mongon. 520, Mongon. But giving it's that only Mongon, but it gives them the lead. Yeah, giving it to first, not what you want to see. Especially when Sheen is trying to catch up, you do not want to be giving points to your direct placement rival at the moment. And now, super direct. hard scenario for MCP. Oh, Sheen might just Yakuma on there. There, that's the solution. <laughs> direct, direct, 
direct opponent rival. There's oh mo there's my more God. He might between reach on a dragon champon. Oh my <laughs> God. Oh my. Do not. If he if he sumo's one of these, no shot. Yeah, he might be going for it. Yeah, he wants that die song again or show song again. Tungsten still has the green in hand. Oh, okay. Same Anko gets east. Triple east, but it's south. I it's mean, south round. yeah, but at least it allows you to solve the east. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh, Shen! Oh, no. Shen! <laughs> Shen! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Does he run, though? Head? Does he run? Does he run? No, there's no way. No exchange. He goes for the Akuman. There's no way. I think, I think he hits Bond. If somebody drops red, white. Oh. There's the white. Oh, he's, he's thinking. He's thinking so hard. There's no way. He's got to take it, right? Yeah, yeah he has to take it. Yeah, okay. That's with with one red already cut, with you having to open 11, up the six. other, it's it's a little hard. And yeah, that 11-6 is, is plenty of points. Man, VT cannot keep getting away with it. I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> like, that is criminal. Oh man, that v is it's criminal. looking it, it's it's looking like a slobber knocker between VT and Wisconsin right now. They're just trading blows after blows, and Tex oh. Texas and ITCG can only watch and get points. What is that move from MCP? What? You have the Onko of Whites and the door in hand. Why would you open up for six there? Even if you're going to play the half, you keep that West every single time. Genius. That door is so potent for you right now, especially behind. I I disagree with that entirely. What you got to keep yeah. every value, especially when you have the Yaku. Better. Especially when you have the Yaku like, guaranteed in your hand. It's just not worth it. Ben's easily in a position where they can just push crappiest fast hand they see. I mean, here's the thing though, if you're Sheen, you kind of want to just keep the game moving along and you also, uh, then again, as I say that, ready on the three mon, spamming the sad cat, <laughs> like they don't have a hand, the little gotcha. trickster on the other side of the table. Kong comes out for the white, Adem comes up. Only one out so far. This could evolve into something interesting. Tungsten. How many pairs does Tungsten have? And they're it gonna. Tip. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's just too hard. And then it's like really committal. It's just kind of like begging to fold later on. And you have decent shapes right now. Although cutting that three is gonna deal right into Sheen's 2K hand. Yeah, and there's that West! If MCP would have kept it, that would have been huge! That would have been almost Tempi right now. This might drop the 3 um, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's too yeah, yeah. It's nothing. They gotta think Maybe about stopping 15. Sheen. But, or, yeah, 15, not 2k, excuse me. But, I mean, still, it's, it's not a lot going on. How, how does Shin keep getting away with this? VT, something about it. VT and Team Sternies. They they got some insider to uh, Yo Star that they pay off before every Team Sterny, I swear. <laughs> some of the stuff that goes on on these tables. It, you couldn't write it if you tried. Ooh, Harzen picking up the Dora pair. Is going to be prevalent too, so could potentially see an open for Yakuhai. Get the quick guaranteed Mongon. MCP, you know what? That's I can get behind that honey too. Decent. That, Decent. The only problem is that there's already a white down and you can't con these, so you're still not really playing with a lot of value. I mean, to be fair though, Harzen is building up a very scary big hand. If you're Tungsten, you gotta get rid of the south now or just opt to keep it in your hand the whole time. Which Tungsten opting to just keep it in their hand the whole time. Shiny, shiny. I mean, there's there's arguments to it too. Like if if Sheen happens to have or if Nekara happens to have the South, you don't want to give them extra value, even if it's not a run. Um, so just like keeping it in your hand, always playable, isn't necessarily a terrible move. That is not going to be 10-5 from MCP as well. 
again, the value is just not there. Like, a con of six is about one of the only ways to dig out and then try to hit something nasty on the Dora. MCP, not a lot of value besides that. Or not even a lot of potential for value. Tungsten Tiger draws a north. Goes down pretty easily. Harzen, easy. MCP, are they going to keep the... I can't. There's already one the red, red down, I... Yeah. Yeah. Just tear up. Yeah, now Sheen Tonky on the six, but is able to the switch it up at any point. Yeah. Um, so we will be seeing that change. And if anybody is picking up, uh, Nekura does like to emote the sad Ichihime literally every time they get in the Thempai. Um, <laughs> so if you see that dropped, definitely be wary or be wary. Punkson, interesting decision here. Might sense some danger on the 7. Ops to pass it though. Has the 3 2, so MCP is not looking like the weight is going to hold. Sheen Ops, not too weight on the L weight. 2S, can't blame them too much. Oh, that could be disastrous. Nah, 6 feet comes out first. Oh no! Off the trade six with all the sevens and nines. Yeah, it's Suji Pi, but yeah. I mean, and still fifteen hundred. Like you hate that. Oh, fifteen hundred gives them to fifty. Yeah, and I mean with repeat too. If you're tungsten, like you hate giving up points directly to burst, but again, not a whole lot of points. There I'm are give a... many worse things to, uh, or many worse point totals to give up Gee. in that scenario. I'm gonna give a quick studio update on the other table. UTA's players in the lead with 36-5 with ITCG in second, VT in third, and Wisconsin in fourth. Wisconsin's player in fourth, um, was as low as four digits at one point. Now they've clawed their way back to 18-4. Back to this game. I just destroyed the flow of the stream. That is all good. Um, and a quick opening for Tungsten. I guess maybe Ob's going to try to just get Sheen off dealer ASAP. Try to play a quick Sanchoku, it looks like. But I'm very committal at this stage, I would say. Could also opt for the half outside. Bonya. She opts to open up again. Not a great hand to do so. But, I mean, it's been working out so far. It's been working for Shin. Parzan opting to push the full. Very interesting. Huh? Sheen opting to kill that's the gonna, three That's gonna make Tungsten's Sanchoku a little bit harder. Oh, why is Sheen opting to keep the green? Maybe senses some danger with the Akuhai, but... I mean, better now than dealing later. Oh, this could be Toy Toy Honitsu. This could be a massive hand. 8P or 7P pickup. We could see the switch from Harzen. If Sheen would've kept that three, would've had a great ground then to play right now. All they had to do was ditch the uh, one P in one turn earlier. Oh, I never punished. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, come on. Oh, and then she gets man. <laughs> Don't you feel the flow going through VT? Okay, it's six nine. Oh, and immediately comes no. if you're Harzen, yeah, you gotta take that. Yeah. The toy toy is nice to get you to the Mongon, but I mean, right now you want to just get Sheen off. Actually, eh, I think there's an argument. I think Sheen takes this away in full force, right? So I think trying to play for that toy toy value, that's that's kind of big. Trying to bridge that gap to get to uh, second, potentially. I think that might be worth. There's an argument to be made there, but Usually passing on a win is a huge gamble, but how many discards were we into in that game? Uh, it wasn't too many. I think we were about uh, eight in, roughly. I so it was halfway yeah. through. 
but yeah, that I might mean, have been. The value might have been... there. Run, yeah. I mean, you can always like opt to slow down and wait for the white to come out too, and get the uh, double Yakuhai. So it actually that could have been a Hanemon hand, Hanemon Toy Toy Honi too. So that once it's Hanemon, that's actually big value. I think Harzen might have been better slowing down a little bit. And Sheen in first, opting to play the quick Yakuhai. No one's gonna blame him there. Um, absolutely the right play in this scenario. I imagine we'll see it open up with one, two, three. Yep. Ooh, Sheen also building a Honi too. A little scary. Tung Sim playing standard E Shan Ten, but looking for a Kanchan Ender. A little ugly, but not the worst in the world. I five six might drop the five here. Drops the. Oh yeah, Play keeps the, the pair. Six, I guess. Commit to the pair. I mean, I think. Five was probably the right move, but maybe sensing some danger uh, with Sheen. Nah, I think five five M's the move there, because you already know Monzu is dangerous, and uh, you're just kind of begging to have to drop something super dangerous later if you want to play the hand. Like even if you, the only out is if you draw seven M and then can wait on six seven round men, but then you're in free ten anyway, so. There's another transfer into a oh, one gotta four. Drop, you gotta get the five M out of there. It's so dangerous. Later, you're just begging to threaten to deal in. Ops to kill the one M. The only other thing could be the six M drop, but then you lose out on possibly getting Dora, and you need value here. Yeah, and tungsten now just kind of scattering, scared. Get scared off the pair, now can wait on the Dora. Um, so not an easy way, Harzen but with an option. Harzen has Dora-san. Oh yeah, so it's gonna be really tough. And Harzen, Domit on that toy toy. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, 100%. Me Ops, oh, now they reach pull the reach on the 3-6 with e Peko value. That is an interesting decision. I mean, you gotta counter reach on the oh, way. Tungsten. Tungsten's gonna reach. Oh, Ooh. you got a counter reach! You don't have Yaku! If the 7 comes down, you can't take it! I mean, I guess Tungsten's scared about dealing in, and then that 5's not coming out. We could see the deal in. Unless it's a 6 route. No, nope, pops to do it. Oh, okay. Well, oh. good thing the reach didn't come out. Oh, and that's all of Sheen's tiles, too. Sheen having to back off, talking on the 8. Could be devastate. Oh, we might see the 8M come out. Oh, this could spell disaster. Is Tungsten going to recognize it? I, I think if you're Tungsten, you drop 8 here every time. I think you have to. Thinking 1M, maybe. Ooh. Oh, yeah, no. 1M was a good call. 1M was a good call. 1M was definitely the better drop. Yeah, and an interesting hand doesn't pan out. Yeah, that was a good eye. 1M is definitely the correct discard there. You still get to keep that shape. You're still waiting on a dead tile, but you get to uh, go to draw there, which is not too bad. And now let's see. Everybody kind of closing the gap as uh, Nekuro just pushes out more and more and more. It's, it's looking looking like a runaway for Shin. I mean, this is definitely the start of BT wants. Even if they do bad on the other table, I mean, they're they're guaranteed to make it up with this. BT's actually last on the other table. So it looks like the run they needed. <laughs> Still a lot of game to play though. Only South three so far. Potentially another scary hand for Nekra. Could see another double Yakuhai. Fact. Dora in hand too could also opt to just jam the Oni too. I don't think that's the let correct me, play, but let me just say, let me just point this out right now. Um, if these, if this placement stays, and if the placement on the other oh, table yeah. stays, which has a chance of has a chance of not happening because third and fourth are fairly close to each other right now, but if they stay, then 
The Umas are gonna cancel out within the teams. But and I it's imagine gonna end up being really like close after Hanshan won. I imagine the plus twenty though, uh, for for Sheen's performance is going to push them up ahead. Not super far ahead, but still give them a boost. So oh, looking at Harzen here, Harzen might Harzen just needs a pair, then they'll be ready for something. I mean, could also fill out that 3-6 uh, Grand then as well. The only problem is Sheen getting awfully, awfully close to being Tempai on a Shampon of South and White and Harzen. Oh, finds it. And yeah, it's a reach out. Put the pressure on the board. Absolutely. Dodge E pots, but don't care. Gonna be 7 4 3 6 peen. Lot of, lot what does, of danger. What does Tungsten play here? I mean, it's gotta be 2 peen. Or maybe the 3, actually. 3 came out more recently. Nope. Opposite drop 2, safe against the reach. Log <laughs> Don't log sees you. That is a meme. Anybody at home, do never. If you're. If, your theory is long Suji, then it is the Lock. most dangerous tile on the board. That is that is the biggest meme that exists in this game. Oh, the six. Okay, good recognition from Tungsten. And Sheen opting to kill that way all of a sudden, not pulling it. Four, no longer dangerous. Oh, and Sheen opts to switch up, doesn't pay off. Dora 2! 11-6! Okay, okay. Okay. That's big. That's that's big. Okay. Jeez. Okay, Harzen can catch. Oh, a great starting handle. Look at look at that. Ishanten uh G toy right away. This that's could be crazy. the Harzen search. Could have been no dude. The Harzen Hashin's, comeback is Hashin's real. Hashin's luck run out. The Harzen comeback. ITCG pulling up. Shout outs to them, by the way. They are a uh, college located in Mexico, right? Yeah. Yeah, cool to have some international competition in. Definitely do not hate to see that at all. And I clearly showing up and showing out, because, whew. Did you know that Cinderella's from Mexico? I was not hip. No, sir. Interesting decision. MCP opts to not drop the five. Don't know if I agree with that. I think you're always Ooh. looking to play the E Peko there. And you just want to keep 6 9, try to pick him up. And huh? Har is in opting for the oi, toy oi, toy. Here. And he got both. He got the hard one. Six peens out. So Har is in only looking for the white. Those and... are decent. Two is looking really rough. Two is not looking good. 8S definitely um, is going to be a bit harder to draw out, but I mean... Oh, but one white's already been dropped. So there's always the option it's buried in the wall. That could be super dangerous. That's going to slow down the hand a lot. If at the same time with one up, white being... At the same yeah. time with one white being out, if someone else were to draw a white, they'll it's probably think it's out, safe yeah. and just throw it out. I mean, that's the gamble you take. Is it in the dead wall or not? Could potentially also, if uh, Harzen draws like a good round mentile, like 5S right now, could see the whites dropped as well. Very, very possible. What does Tungsten Tempi? drop here? No, that's not Tempai. Very interesting. Um, I mean, I think it's seven, or not seven. I think it's, I think it's eight mon there. Either eight mon or, uh, Maybe nine pin. Yeah, with no nines on the board, I, I think waiting on the nine is pretty decent. Beach. Ops to instant reach, looking on just seven. So two in Sheen's hand, though, probably staying as the pair. So not looking like it's going to come out. Oh, Harzen, of course, your favorite the brave Harzen gets the white two. Ready on two eight. Oh my, Sheen, can you calm down? Could see a reach from Sheen here. Gets the other Onko. Way on 1 4, but all oh, the ones are dead. It's Me just too. 4. And the Maniac. Absolutely insane. Offset. Oh, this could scare Harzen off. Nope. Fortune favors the bold. 
we respect it. So Necro waiting on just three four M's right now, not looking too good. And what is that? Two seven S's to see the light of day. MCP can work one into their hand. So that's potentially one berry right now. Double green opportunity. Oh, and the four comes out. Oh no! Out. Yeah. No one. That's that's insane. That's crazy. <laughs> Dude, he can't keep getting away with it. He can't keep getting away with it. What a villain. <laughs> oh my god. All last. I, I, we gotta do a post-game interview with Sheen and figure out where that flow is coming from. Cause, oh my. It, it, it's like, it's like nothing can go wrong. What is that, one big hand eating this whole time? Bunya. She just full calling. Not super agreeable, but we'll see. I mean, everybody else is gonna be forced to play slow besides MCP. Tungsten trying to figure out how to play that hand. Many options. Um, I would imagine we're seeing a Suanko angle. They need what? Or, eh, they only need 6k to get second Uma. Maybe if a close con of one comes out, it gives them at least a pair. Could just see the immediate push. I mean, you drop one peen if you're Tungsten, right? Uh, yeah, I one think you or drop three. I think a three. I mean, but here's the thing: like Suwanko is your perfect hand, right? It's it's unlikely, but if you do hit it, then it allows you to rock it up to. Does it allow you? Right? Yeah, it allows you to get up to first. So, I think it's worth it in this scenario to keep the three. You have so much more value with points. Like it's not a great chance, but it's definitely your easiest route to high value. And Sheen somehow able to force this to a half outside in a sporadic turn of events. Even gets the Souths to call from, which none are on the board, but Har's in the lockout oh. could potentially be good. Tungsten maybe looking oh, for the con, God. I guess. Try to get some value there to catch up on that 6k. I mean, I'd imagine you're trying to play for the Uma here, right? You're not just playing long con of uh, point value. Actually, eh, you could. See. If Tupin comes out, tonking on the Dora could work well. So I think, maybe that's not I, so I bad. think Dunkston and Shin are both hunting for that last hey, Dora. Is that enough? Chanta, Chanta, Dora 2, Yakuhai? That's four. That would do it. Ten. Oh, and the con comes out. This could be big. Oh, oh. and I'm buried. Oh, and the mini breach. Oh, the chi comes out. It's Sean Paul and Fortune favors the brave 5M dropped. Here, dropping the one. North comes out. There's so much dangerous on the board right now. There's so much happening. 2-5S lethal. Oh, it's five dead. No, 1-5 to be seen. 1-4 as well. Just Six, wait for the fence, Tungsten. I could see the one piece. Oh no! Oh! Uh, no, no. Oh! <laughs> no, I didn't even realize that was the double. <laughs> How have we had two doubles? Uh, oh, and hardest time with the Rigi Nomi. Oh, and the old simples too. I didn't even. I there was so much happening. I couldn't even keep track. I didn't even realize Tungsten hit the one. That was crazy. That hand was insane. Tungsten hit the one yeah. in Dora. That's literally nuts. And it ends with double one on hands. <laughs> this is the most insane tournament I've ever seen. Free. Yeah. It, it's not getting better than this. MCP, RDE, Sean 10. That is disgusting. <laughs> on the double shot on terminals. That's crazy. One's buried in the wall, but like still, that is insane. It'd be an MCP surge. Dude, MCP sweep. What's, uh, who's the MCP playing for again? MCP UTA. UTE. Oh, UTA. Grab some popcorn. You're gonna love this next part. 
They're gonna eat this up. The, the thing is, Sheen is not gonna get rid of that one, though. I would think. Actually, I eh, could see one go instead of four. It's very possible once something needs to get cut. Oh, the five. That, nah, I think eight comes out then, yeah. Actually, there's an interesting decision if uh, if Necra draws seven so could potentially see the uh, four mon or the four M cut. Oh, an obstacle! Rion Rion pick out and gets <laughs> they were chasing the Rion. The yeah, Rion pick, out, but still, Richie Nomi not worth a whole lot. Twenty four hundred points, nothing. Drop in the bucket. Least of a so oh, wow. so that Another pulls MCP in. out of the negative. At yeah, least they're doing better than I, mean, I in did. A format, <laughs> in a format like this, though, it's like negative isn't that big of a deal. Uma's much more of a uh, tell. Like the Uma's the thing that really matters. You can go negative and you're fine. You just want to try to like up your placements. Oh, nine draw could see a pair dodge ops to kill the uneven. I can't imagine we're seeing that pawn anytime soon. MCP opting to kill Dora immediately too. Just play as fast as possible. Try to defuse that very dangerous tile ASAP. Sheen with a very interesting hand. A lot of upgrades to be had there. Tungsten not doing too bad. Parzin with an absolute plunker. Oh, Tungsten picking up the Onko of South. That is going to be big, big pickup. It's going to put but them they're in gonna have to figure out what to oh, do. Oh no, with, if MCP kept the Dora. The MCP kept the Dora, could have seen it. And Tungsten all of a sudden ready on forum. I think Yaku Tungsten is just in. playing to end the game at this point. I, I don't see how this gets them up to second. No, I, I, I can't imagine. The only thing would be a South Con into something crazy, but... That, that seems like a hard game plan to push. And I guess best case scenario is the Sean Plon on a 1S 4M for MCP. Looking at the rest of the board, that looks like the best route to success. Uh, Necro also picking up. Oh, I thought I was picking up an upgrade, but I must have been wrong. No double 9M. Arzen, I look back and all of a sudden, I think that's Ishan 10. Bad weight, we're, either way, but... We are Ishan in south, south 4, repeat 1 in the <laughs> other table, and 3rd and 4th are only separated by 600 points. Jeez. Neither of them have dealership. And while you were away, Harzen also gets in the Tempai, auto reaches on 6S. Very, very dangerous looking, so I can't imagine it is going... Oh, and Tungsten just <laughs> auto runs. I mean, here's the thing. I, I kind of get it, but like also, I feel like you want to play out a bit more value there, you know? Well, that's the happening. delay on the other game is still going. Yeah, I was about to say, I am going to take a pop over. We might as well watch the end of that game. I know you might have to plug in some scores, yep. theoretically. So, let's see what is happening here. Uh, not too much, Theo, looking to end the game ASAP. Try to get that third place, Uma take less of a hit. Ballas is going to be... Um, Ballas is currently Ishan 10 on seven pairs. Also just gonna take games away. Focus on this. Uh, FA. Not exactly got a whole lot going on, but not too far off, something nice. Theo searching for that Ishan 10. A lot of good pickups to try to get there. Kieran, I believe that's an Ishan 10 for Kieran as well. Theo could full commit. Yep, gonna look at 4-7 Pina Wait. 
Or 17 for Theo, and that would put them in third. Senpai, yep, trying to secure a better Uma. Uh, Ford not looking like it's going to come out, though, of anybody's hand, to be frank. Six here, does that change you? Eh, six, seven, chomp one's not that good either. I think, yeah, you just take the four, seven, and pray. I think that's about your best out. All is still Ishan 10 on seven pairs on cheat toy. Could also see some toy toy nonsense if uh, a tile is dropped from them. Very possible. FA opts to keep the Onko of 5S, but going to be a little bit clunky to resolve. I imagine, no, 5 just immediately passes, yep. Everybody dropping five, so four looks a little bit weaker. Same with seven. Not super weak, but a little bit weaker. I can't imagine that con comes out. Actually. Oh, a pawn. Ooh, I, mm, I, I don't know about that. I think the reach is more potent. And here's the thing. Now your hand is slower. You have to hit in the east. And yeah, now they get jaded. I, I think it's crumbling apart, and you're upping everybody else's hand value. I think Ball has got lost in the sauce. I think there you just keep playing strong. Maybe go for a toy toy, but Two probably just try to pair up. Huh. Oh, there's the East though. Set it, boom. Okay, Ball is going to be looking for the toy toy angle, but double sevens in the three is not the way you want to play it. It's going to be very hard to get even one of those for Tempai. Definitely not feeling too great about two. Still one four to be seen, but sevens are locked. Oh my god, and Dio Tumos. And that will do it for that game. 2k up. So that is going to take Kieran with UTA in first. That will offset the fourth of MCP almost entirely. Ballas on ITCG, another second up. Theo, Wisconsin, going to be in third. And FA, or Make Shower, I guess it's not going to be for VT. So, wow, in a crazy twist. ITCG is up 25.5 right now. Look at that. Hold on. Let's get these standings upgraded. Give us one moment while we update what is going on. But very interesting turn of events. After all of that, these super high scoring games, um, everybody not too far off. It looks like Wisconsin with double third is going to be at minus 38.5 and ITCG with double second is going to be in first after the first two Hanshan at 25.5. Definitely not what I expected after seeing both those performances. I think John is going to be setting up game two. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right yeah. now. John Mahjong himself, runner of the IM games. I wonder so, if I, I wonder if I'm viewed viewed as a hero or a villain. I mean, listen, a, if you're not doing Tony this, Con then nobody else is. So as a as a Tony Khan or Vince McMahon. Let's see, can I also? <laughs> it's off, but 
I think for right now, what we might do, maybe I'll try to get the current game standings. We'll do. Both games have now started. So both games now started for the new one. Um, but I think what we'll do is take a quick breather just for a minute or two before these next two games. And then we will get both of them started up. So really quick, we're gonna take just a short break and we will be right back. Okay, and we are right back. The game is going to be starting in one minute here. We've got about 40 seconds out till it is. So what a crazy start to the tournament. <laughs> what, yeah. what is it? Did everybody get literally... No, not everybody got mirrored. Uh, BT got first, fourth. Um, UTA, I believe, got first, fourth. UW yep. got double third, and ITCG, who is in first right now, got double second. Yeah. 
V so. V T also V T also got their first fourth of the of the tournament. Yeah, not what you would expect at all from uh, the front runner to just be in double second. It is, it is what it is though, and this is where we are now. I mean, yeah, I can't. I I mean, hey, this just goes to show you don't need first every game, just second, and then you're good to go. <laughs> yeah. Um, but nobody out too bad right now. UW struggling a little bit. Um, the double thirds definitely hurt, especially Diaz, which is a little bit lower down. Um, but definitely can come back um, and take this back. Still very early on into the day. We're a quarter of the way through games. And nobody pulled ahead super far. Like, if VTech would have gotten double first, like with what Sheen was doing, especially with Negra, it. it it wouldn't have been wraps, but everybody would have been struggling to try to catch up. They would have had so much more breathing room. But we got some different players. Tungsten coming back um, into this one. Who I believe got third last game? Third last game, yes. Yeah, Harzen uh, Kevin, barely passed him. Kevin, Kevin G, this is... Kevin G, ITCG is one of the few teams that did not opt to have pairs for Hanchan 1 and 2 and Hanchan 3 and 4, so this is Kevin's first game in the finals. Mm -hmm. uh, Kieran last time got first, and FA last time got um, fourth, and I am not going to read that name. This. Yeah, I mean, we can also call FA, uh, what is it, Make Shower? Make shower up. FA is easier for me. Yeah, FA or make shower, either one. But uh, not too much, honestly, going on to start. Kevin G opting to play the West Yaku High for the hands uh, with Adora. Not too terrible, um, but little could be desired with points. Could also see a Sanchoku though. Some upgrades to hand value, um, possible in it. Tungsten forming up the hand, looking very close. I believe that is going to be Rian Shantan, I think. Yeah. Maybe trying to tonky on the door at the end of hand, which could be a little clunky, but might pay off. Well, if there's one Dora down and think it's up. They could also they could potentially go for Itsu here. They're only one Ooh, tile away. Itsu on the nine is very interesting. Ops nope. to <laughs> I guess just opts to play the fast beam foo. Yeah. Um, I, I yeah, think that's... the I think the plan there is that five seven nine trying to keep the double <laughs> inside is valuable without sacrificing like your run then of uh, three four mon. So I, I kind of get it. E two is a lot more value, but it's also the start of the game. You have an end dealer, like you don't really need to. Ooh, and the nine came out. Little hair. I mean. There's one nine already buried in the wall too, so it's a little bit harder. Uh, six to come out. Oh, and that E Pico chance dead now. Gonna have to kill that six immediately. And Kevin G's force out, not looking too good at all. Hitting no upgrades at all. Still no uh, West found in hand. So we're gonna see North drop maybe. Why are you opting to kill the door there? You gotta <laughs> play that, Sanshoku. You gotta commit to Ke that. That's where all your value is. You can't be, you can't you... be ditching that. <laughs> Have you seen Kevin G's level? No. Uh... Oh, let's go. Fresh account. Or not quite fresh account, but... Hey, that's okay. Always room to see. Check. We got some expert... Kieran, Tungsten, I believe, Expert 3, looking to try to hit that Master, Dep 2, but as everybody knows, uh, martial ranks literally mean almost nothing, because there are some <laughs> experts I've met who definitely are not experts. Ooh, that's a tough reach. Maybe a Dama on the one pin. Try to upgrade to an Epeko really quick uh, before you decide to ditch. Reachy. Nope, off to kill the five, three return on the two. I guess back everybody off, try to retain <laughs> dealership. It's an interesting strategy, but definitely a little tough. 
Well, now you have the risk of like dealing it, dealing into Kieran also. Yeah, Tungsten that's the other problem. Tungsten ops the reach on the two five, pretty decent. Uh, lots of twos and fives out, so they look pretty safe. Oh, and the e pods. Uh, hate to I see it. That, that's the risk you run with Reachy for attendance. It's, it's yeah. like such a big gamble, and the I. Sometimes the value's not even there. I mean, you're a dealer, so I, I get trying to push people off, but I think there's no harm in doming that. Like, it's the start of the game. What you want less to happen is exactly what happens. You don't want to go down by that big margin to start. Um, you much, in, like, you want to keep your dealership. You want to build points now, set a precedent for the game, but even more, you want to not go down by a decent amount of points. I feel, I think, I think doming there is the right move, especially being in furry 10. If they weren't in furry 10, they can still draw, or they can still get the two up. That's a bit more reasonable, um, but without it, it, it's just a stretch. It's a hard sell. Trying to figure out what Kevin's going for here. Well, they get a pair of green, um, that certainly makes it a lot I e easier think for Kevin them. is mashing that button. Which I would say normally is terrible, but what do I know? Because Sheen also decided to get like plus 57k. So. <laughs> yeah. Tungsten, um, ton of value though. Really scary hand from Tungsten. Really quick hand. Oh, That's the one thing. If you drop 3 4 like that immediately though, then people are going to catch on that something's up. When you drop a John Man double in hand like that. If anybody's watching it, they know something's bad. Kevin's yeah, mashing the button and is looking like they're lining up for the shit special. Hey, that's fine. Gets dropped, nobody's gonna be scared to drop into it. Tungsten Gee. might call this, yeah. Yeah, that's now, that's, now that's pretty cool. I mean, a chance on the Shinitsu, too. Kevin gets Senpai on 7S. Could potentially see that move and a Chanta being played. Very, very possible. Oh, there it is. Is the recognition does, there? Does Kevin know the Chanta? Does Kevin know is the, the Chanta though? the recognition there? I believe. Ah, oh, it doesn't oh. trade. And immediately punished. <laughs> then again, Kira might have kept that in alternate reality. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, that's okay. And I can't, oh, yeah, I can't imagine that's coming out. Try to play the six. Um, that's not a great open, that's, but it's not a no. terrible one. I mean, here's the thing: if you're gonna push that you need to, like you're committed now, you might as well. Like you're really looking for the nine p and then Tonky on the west, but you're not necessarily getting nine p now. Okay, I can see the nine on. Yep. Green is a safe discard, also a good tempi tile. Kevin's and now, waiting on the Kevin's now waiting on the five pin. Inadvertently, it's gonna be a little bit it's hey, gonna be a hey, little hey, bit hey, harder. Kevin, Kevin dodging the Chinitsu deal in. Gotcha to respect it. Yeah. Like, good recognition there. Oh, Kieran, good pickup on that five. Could see maybe double eight folds. Ops to drop the six. Wow. A bold drop for Kieran. G. Make shower. Thinking about taking it. Ops to do it. Maybe push a Tanyao. Get a little bit closer to um, ending this game with. or ending in Tempai for the round. Kevin G. Still opting to see some danger. Make shower, probably seen that one mana drop. Yep. Tora keep. Now five pawn is real. Three five pawn. Very valid options. Kevin G. I'm gonna taking feed some here. I to imagine they're over. gonna stick with the five P. Yeah. Yeah, good recognition. That five P call would have been good for Tungsten, but not quite what they need to finish the hand out. Still would have been E Shantan after the call. Still one more west to not see the light of the day. Tungsten still sees two obscured. Could see the five call. Oh, offs to ditch. I I think you take it. I'm gonna say it. I think you take it. I think you play for a nine. And I think you go full force for the Chinitsu. It doesn't slow your hand down, it allows you to keep Dora. 
you have to drop four peen, but whatever, who cares? Why is safe? Oh, yeah. 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 But just Rishi know me. This able to standard three. Able to garner three some value three. with E Pod Sumo, but could have been a lot worse in Tungsten's hand. I I still think that five or I still think that uh five pin was worth it to open up for. I think that pawn was value, try to scare the board a little bit more, make them back off. Um and you still have nine pin to fall back from. And you and it like cements Shinitsu chance. Um, you can just get rid of the West. You don't have to try to play like a Honey too to back up. What do we got going on? Kieran. Interesting. Bit of shape, but not too much. Kevin could opt to open up. Press the Does. shiny puck. There you go. Hey, that's Yaku Ion Dealer. You got a door in hand. Not too bad of an option. Yeah. And honestly, none of your other shape is that great. You may even try to consider slightly edging towards a, a uh, Honitsu here. So it's not a terrible plan. I think a peen is the correct discard. One Mon, slightly worse, but not too big of a deal. Definitely not a hand bricker or anything like that. How's Make Shower doing? Make Shower is Ish on 10. No, wait, that's Tenpai draw, isn't it? Um yeah, that's, that's Senpai. Could opt to reach uh, on 4-7 peen. 4-7 Gama. Has a bit of value, has peen food. I, ah, you're down. Peen food, you're down, it's food, early. I think, you, I think you run that. I think you run that. I don't see any Re upgrades from you mean, this. You mean problem. Richie, or? Yeah, yeah, I, I think you Richie. You're down on value, it's peen food Dora. Could get E-Pods, could get Sumo to upgrade the value. And like, the problem is with this, I don't see any other value. Well, now they could drop the five here and maybe reach out a one, one yeah. three sided, two five. A little Only bit one, easier four, to try to get it out. So, I mean, yeah, yeah, I guess that is an option. Gets the, one of the outs that kind of saves Grace there. Doesn't hit the E pots, though. Weight's really good. You're basically guaranteed for it, but. Kevin G trying to debate how hard they want to push the hand off to back off. No deal in tiles, but definitely the correct play. Play a bit more passive. Yeah. Might see the eight out. Not the eight I was thinking, but works out. Kieran trying to decide what the best drop. Also just drop the save for S. Again, boots it for tungsten. Yeah, play. The two comes out. I imagine probably probably next one peen that comes out gets dropped. I'd imagine. Like you reach on the five, yeah. Sumo. Sumo there comes you go. Out. There Some you more go. Value. Could hit an Ura. Just shy of a Mongon. It's only 52, though. Yeah. Uh, still in last, but this game's looking fairly close, actually. Both tables are looking fairly close right now. Yeah, no one's, no one's really hit a lot of value. Um, Tungsten hit a lot with that very first hand that they pulled away with. Um, and then was threatening with that she needs to like door three as dealer an insane hand that they couldn't quite pull um but besides that not a lot of value going on in the board not too much going down that is what is going on with Tungsten Sai Pai? What? Probably, probably a Kokushi push. The hand's really far. It's you either back off and don't play the game for 18 turns, or try to play this and then fold out once you're scared of dealing in. I, I respect it. Yeah. I mean, you're up right now. Like, might as well. I don't think it's a wrong option. 
like trying to play that hand too is just going to be so hard that you might as well just go for it early. I hope nobody else has anything quick. You can also check the door immediately to see if anybody has it, so you can defuse that pretty, uh, pretty static. Defuse that pretty Another quick. Dora. Yes, there another Ponador is dead. Could see Kevin G off to Chi that drop the three. It doesn't take. Well, now Kieran is ready, and I think ready on five punch here. On. Nah, this might be this might be a wait. That's a really really bad wait. Reaching Nomi on just the 5 pin is so hard, yeah. Off Sadama, maybe look for an upgrade. I mean, here's the thing, you hit 3 pin, 7 pin, or even a 1 pin. And you get better options to wait on, I think. Or no, not 1 pin, 1 pin doesn't do it. You could also hit uh, 4 mon and try to like move it towards Atanio. Okay, off the Suji trap with the four. I think that's fair. That's that's fair, yeah. Could see some recognition from other players, but who knows? Not nah, the five wouldn't have been inside Suji. Problem is, no other sevens are coming up. I imagine Tungsten's back and off now. Although, wait, is that? Are they Ishan ten on Kokushi? Uh. Two tiles left. Ron Shantan. They have one nine. They have one nine peen. Oh, there's one. Okay. Are they gonna keep going? You gotta keep Good going season. here. Wait for the fence. It's a bit tough. Officer drop the pair, that's fair. Oh. Ooh, Officer, okay. you can you can redraw the pair. That one's not too hard. Definitely uh not a full committal to dropping. Six is safe. Oh, and the double five comes out. Should have Damod. Yeah, should have Damod. Can't regretting actions. Yep, and then that's gonna be the fold out. Tungsten's gonna fold out mean, of it. You're still, you're still E Shantan after that. It's, it's hard. You're on Shantan now that you don't have a pair, but yeah, with, like you're just begging to draw more and more dangerous tiles. Just, just better to back off. Although with four Dora out, you could make the argument that Kieran's hand's probably not worth a lot, so it may be worth the push. Oh, and that would have been Tenpai without Hi. dropping a dangerous tile. What would have been the last one needed? Uh, one pin, I think. Uh. Yeah, it would have been one pin. One pin, yeah. Oh, uh, which and there's only one shower wouldn't have dropped. Um. Uh, make shower with uh. I mean, with Come no on. Yaku, Dama. Ooh. <laughs> and Kevin, Kevin plays G right in misreads. too. Kevin Beach. Dora. 7 pin. But, oh, hits the Uro for a little bit of value, but still not a lot. Yeah, so I don't think well, Tungsten would the lead anyway. Because I think especially if Tungsten uh, keeps a lot of those Kokushi tiles and, like, doesn't discard any of them, uh, then it just, you're you're so scared of the one pin there. If you're gonna eat a Yakimon like that, I can't imagine make shower drops, especially against the Reach, where the one pin actually, eh, one pin was safe against the Reach. I don't know. That's a tough situation. Either way, though, in an alternate reality, they're seeing how that plays out right now, watching just a bunch of standard play on the table. Although tungsten looking to run the same play, not too sure about are they, that. Are they going? Is tungsten going for it again? I mean, look at their hand. They they killed the three, they killed the two. The two I kind of get, but nope, okay, I guess. No, oh, okay. You, you can't, the problem is you gotta, you gotta kill the lone honors. They look so good, it looks so nice to so just on paper go, oh, I'll just pair them up, right? And I'll get a quick, easy Yaku high. But when you look at the stats, when you look at the hands, it just doesn't come together like that. Even if you do get a pair, then you have four turns where you automatically have to drop these just lone terminals. And it doesn't get you anywhere, you know? You just gotta you just gotta send them out, say, I'm not gonna need them, they're not gonna do anything for me, I'll just play without them right away. 
and play standard. And look at that. That 3 9 right now could have been an Itsu build up. A very easy Itsu build up for Tungsten that they now sacrifice by trying to greed the honor. It's just a bit too long. If you. If you don't learn any Mahjong from these streams, then one thing you'll certainly learn about is drop the lo drop the lone honors drop early. Drop the honors, yep. Just just get them out. Not worth it. It's 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 a total beginner trap. It's one of those things where that's one of the big instances where you gotta just look at the paper and trust it. It, it always looks so good, and because of, I don't think it's recency bias, but when it goes well, because of that, you're going to think, oh, it's going to go great, things are going to work out. But in reality, you look at the you look at the stats, you look at the papers, it just does not end up that way. And oh. Kevin G on an interesting uh, play right now. Needs the north for Yaku, could opt to double ditch it, and then also can opt to... Bonya! Uh, a north draw. Either opt for the Ryanmen or Tonki on the two. Does opt to Tonki on the two? Gotta say, gotta agree with it. Who's ready on four right now? What? Who's waiting on four? Uh, oh, Make Shower. Okay. Ready on four, but without Yaku. Looking at. Peachy. Not even really upgrade for a Pifu, yeah. Well, now they're gonna push. They're gonna yeah, push and reach try you to scare people off. Maybe try to get the risky drop. It's around door though. That's that's a little hard. That is definitely tough. Oh, that's a triple-sided wait for Kirin. Oh, I, that's my favorite wait in the game. I think the three-sided Tonki. I love the three-sided <laughs> Tonki. That wait's so sick. What's coming out? Plus, it gives you two points, right? Like two points uh, because you're waiting no. on Tonki. Does it? I, I thought the two side Tonki gave you points. So maybe it does. I, mean, it gave I you think, proof. yeah, I think you can rearrange it to however is whatever gives you the most. So I think um, I think if you play Pinfu, it arranges it like that. If you are playing open and don't have Pinfu, then I think it arranges it like this. If I'm not mistaken. No, never mind. I'm totally mistaken. Yeah, it does give you food. You are right about that. So yeah, it gets you a little bit of foo. You lose out on Pinfu, but when you're open like this, who cares? What is Tungsten gonna play here? Could potentially see the six come out. Well, the six doesn't fit, but also they're trying. I think. Well, the six is the move might be to fold. The six is Tempai. Oh, they back out of it. Not, yeah. I mean, six looks scary. It looks really bad, especially with this board. It's away from Dora, but like, it's it's a tough sell. And then offs to throw a double five. Unfortunate that five didn't come out a turn earlier. But what are you gonna do? Oh, ah, there we go. Well, yeah, it, it was a good way. Three side Tonki can't hit that. So Kieran now gonna be taking the lead. Still in dealer. East four repeat two now. Already got a Dora in hand too. Could even potentially see a move towards Sancho. Make shower not a whole lot going on. Although, probably the second best hand on the board. This is a really slow board for everybody. It's didn't possibly eat Sue, but they need a 5 or a 6, so, so they, they can make to. a call. I mean, they could also edge towards Sanchoku. They have the Ron Men on the 1 or on the one four s All they need is the 3-mon for the uh, Sanchoku confirmation. There's, there's a world where I see it, for sure. Could even try to Tonki on the four if they want to. Could just also opt to play easy uh, Pinfu. Maybe even try to section it into a Tanya. Definitely a lot of options to play. I imagine you have one being coming out from Kieran. Just a lot of terminal discarding. Kevin G, a little dizzy. Still trying to figure out how they want to approach a hand. Oh wow, and an Onko of. Ines also picked up 
from Make Shower. That is interesting. Good to see a San Anko angle. Six Bean comes into their hand. None on the board yet, or none uh, on the board or in people's hands. It's a lot of value, really. Aaron's still terminal Thanks, discarding. Ishan 10, I think? Yeah, Ishan 10 on uh, just 6B. Or 6B or plus. Uh, Tungsten still needs a pair in, pair in his hand. Yeah, Tungsten's still a bit away, but Kieran, Kieran's real close. Ishan 10 on two tiles, some good ground men upgrades. Make Shower hasn't really got any upgrades they're looking for yet, but uh, still Ishan 10. Potentially on a good way to 4P is picked up. Oh, that's a 1 4 Tonky for Tungsten. Richie? 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 There you go. There you go. <laughs> I think that's decent enough. Oh, oh, but here it is to reach you to Adama on the yeah, 16. Yeah, yeah, six beans, six beans hard. I think you definitely, you wait to pee through that. Absolutely. 3,000%. Yep, you throw the one. Yep. No, 100%. Great, great move by Kieran. Good recognition, especially with two Dora up in hand. Absolutely. Oh no! Oh, but the big like shower that deals in. That's, I mean, that's fair. That's not a lot of information to go off of. I think one pin's your safest discard there too. But yeah, you get the foo, but you lose, you lose, you lose pin foo. So that's yeah. like a seven hundred point difference there. Yeah. And after South, still. Fairly close game. Two people, Tungsten and Kieran, kind of pulling away uh, ahead. Kevin G and Make Shower going behind. But, I mean, a Mongon, two Mongons can just reset the table right now. So. The other, the, the other, the other table, um, guess what their top score is right now in South 1? Oh, uh, with Sheen, I'm sure it's like 60k. 30,003. Oh, wow. So very, very close table. Yeah. Yeah. Very Both of these tables are looking. What we saw on the last two tables, where, what was it? Uh, almost 60k point game and then like a 45k point game, right? Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Tale of, tale of two kinds of Mahjong being played here. You got the I blowouts mean, and you got the close games here. That's how uh, disconnect. Works. Uh oh. Disconnect from Make Shower. It could be bad. Internet's I mean, going down at V in Blacksburg. Oh, jeez. Well, they're back. Yeah, Nothing over. happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the tab out. Yeah, the reload the VPN during uh, lecture right now on a Saturday here on a Sunday. <laughs> Had to uh, make sure they're staying in it. Genius. And Kevin G opening up more, but not a lot to show from it. Still kind of a clunky hand. Kieran looking to maybe pick up, I guess, an e Peko, but kind of clunky to get there. Tungsten not finding a lot. A couple options. I mean, still, still early in the hand. I can't imagine we're ever going to see a G toy commit with that little, even if you draw a pair or two from now on, but who knows. Ooh, make shower, E2 contemplation right now. Could drop six peen. Nope. Opts to play standard, go for the peen foo. Got to respect it. Solid. Could even go toward, could even try to angle towards uh, Tanya. It's a very real uh, world where that happens. Four, six, Maybe eight. four six eight. There, yeah, yeah. Makes drops sense. the full. You you go back. You don't even really go back a step. You just eliminate two four Sean as a final weight, which I, I think is fair. It's a, a pretty yep. bad way. So, admittedly, uh, admittedly, double inside is one of my favorite shapes because if that's your last shape and you reachy, 
That's that's a Suji trap, and I like to pretend well, that Suji traps work. I was gonna say, funny enough, um, me and another George or Nova Mahjong Club uh, or George Mason student, classic Ben. Uh, he's saying that as the theory and um, as the stats advance, taking into account Suji on the Rishi tile is as dangerous as a blind drop or sometimes <laughs> even more because of that very thing so supposedly as time goes on it is worse and worse to account for suji on the reach tile most of the time you want to account for suji on earlier tiles so like in this case 8s suji is super potent here but um for instance you Six mon Suji is bad for make showers, something like that. And then coming into that, you've got the counter MLG strat where you put your you put you, you put huh? your Suji trap tile down one tile before you Richie Dama for one turn and then Richie then. No, but people if pe good people will watch out for the Sumo Gear Richie. So if people are watching where it comes from in your hands, then that'll fall apart real quick. Yeah. People do gotta be watching out for it, but that definitely uh, is not a free play. You gotta be careful trying to pick up on if your opponents are watching out for things like that. So right now, look. So right now, it's looking like a battle between Tungsten and Kieran, but I think at this time around, FA, FA and Kevin aren't too far out here. Oh yeah, and I, I want to talk about that four pin drop. I really think if you're make shower, you drop the one pin there. It doesn't, it doesn't disadvance the hand at all. You don't have to drop it inside. It allows you to be closer to Tanya. I think it's objectively the right thing. To do. I yeah. do not like dropping the four pin there, especially when there's already other one pins that you get clearance on. And see now. You can just <laughs> open up for Tanya, just like I was saying. Or, I guess you wouldn't... No, you would have been able to open up for that. It would have been the same. Yeah, so... I... The 8... The 8 the mod is shiny, but did that really do much for FA? No, but it, I mean, it's defensive. I mean, defensive, there's a lot of people okay. opened up. It's simple. It, it... Like, dropping something else doesn't really improve. Like, the only Ukeide tile you're missing out there is 17 and you already see one on the board, and it's, it's, you, you don't really care. And I, you gotta cheat that. G. Yep, and then you drop an eight, and you take your tenpai, or no, yeah, you drop the nine, excuse me. Take, and if you had the four, pie, you, you, you had Yaku right now, and you could, you know, you could call that. Just saying, just saying. It's kinda crazy, kinda weird, whoa. Oh my god, what a villain. If someone draws the... No, last eight's not coming out. I lied. No, last eight's not coming out. Kevin, don't put it down. There you go. Good job, Kevin. But think about it like Good this. Good job, there Kevin. There was a real world example where Make Shower pulls that hand out because they drop uh, three of the fours. Or they draw three of the four pins there. And are able to call the two or the eight earlier. Or some other variation of that. So, what? so looking at these, looking at these high pies here, um, Faye, uh, Tungsten, another mid up, uh, Kevin, this, uh, you got a lot of building going on here. That's what's looking no one's, like. Yeah, no one's got anything quick. I mean, make sure we're making out not too bad there. Plus 3k, didn't even invest a Ricci stick into it either. Um, so it's kind of like just a quick 1k hand one can't really hate that if you're them definitely decent points for the board G. four mon she up kieran opting to just play the quick yaku guy to try to shut down any give and take Not, that is a really ambitious open up from Kieran. 
That's a little hard to push, because even after you call that and call the Norse, your hand is still a little slow. You're still e it's shot a... 10 after all that, so it's 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 tough. And it's a guarantee. I mean, and you basically lock yourself into the north, so you're basically dependent yeah, you're on relying on the north. Out. And it's it's not worth anything either. It's like you you have so much less defensive optioning. You're not playing for any points. You're you don't even have like a quick hand, even if you get your two perfect opens. I, I think playing it slow there was definitely just an all around better option. And is that Ishan Ten? No, it's Ryan Shan Ten for Make Shower. Ooh, potential for a San Shoku. Needs the 4S pickup and then might get a little clunky with having to drop Dora, but dropping one Dora for a two Han close San Shoku is a net gain. Could C3 out? Yep, I like that a lot. I think that's the way to go. Only other argument there, I think, being uh, double one S or double one pin drop, just in case you want to go to Tanya. But again, very committal for the moment. There's another three mon. Goes down right away. Happens. I mean, you already committed to dropping it. I don't think you could really be too upset there if you're being shower. You you never know if you're gonna get that draw. You know. Oh, the four comes up. Is the recognition there? is a recognition to drop 2s there. Could also just drop the one teens too. You can always drop yeah, the that... two mon for the pair. It's a very very valid option. Thinking about it using up all their time. Oh, Nothing and the five. five. Yeah, just a little worried. Wanted to make sure both Dora were played, but just got nervous. Didn't quite see uh, what is, in my opinion, the better route out. Yeah, you could have get peen food and Dama too, so now you're kind of forced to reach uh, for whatever you get. There's only a single 1S not to be seen as well. A little tough. Tungsten still not shaping up, just dead draw after dead draw. Kieran just absolutely locked into that north that is still buried. Kevin G's shaping up the hand, but still Ishan 10. Wisconsin Shantan, and so round Shantan. on the other table, Wisconsin and ITCG are tied at 32,000 in South 2. Ooh, so very close still. This game's this game's getting a little bit into runaway territory, but it's only South 1. There's still I mean, some big hands so that could go down. And Make Shower could just even out points on the board right now, too. Kevin G would suffer a little bit, but oh, this could be disastrous. This could be absolutely disastrous if a 6S for some reason comes down from Tungsten, which I can never imagine in a million years would get dropped. Great recognition by Kevin G. Fantastic recognition. Yeah, 6S ain't coming down. Oh. That's an Epeco no. chance for Tungsten. Oh, but the North gets no. dropped. Uh. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing, when you see the terminal open and no, like, Yaku from any of the other stuff, you gotta imagine it's a Yaku high. And then when you start, you know, crossing your T's, dotting your I's, you see North was really the only one still alive. So you gotta imagine that it's either a Tonki weight on that lone one, or it is uh, a North weight. It's one of the things you gotta try to uh, keep your eyes out open for. Kieran's got double green dragons. Dora. Ooh, with reds to back it up, too. Doesn't even need it. Could just opt to, uh... Could just go guns blazing with the shiny button. I mean, yeah, just could call the red perfectly fine, too. Not even have to wait on the green. I mean... I mean, even I mean, even with their other calls, like they could they could maybe start call they could even start calling for cheat the for cheese yeah, because they're guaranteed comes they're up, guaranteed yeah. Yaku high. Sean Pawn on red green, absolutely a very very valid option. Imagine three M comes down here. Yeah, or yep. I think I, I think technically three S was a little bit better. Um, it's it's three away with three M. You you can. 
incorporate any Monzu instead of just having it be dead. But if you get 4S, it like doesn't really help you out that much Gee. more if you're Kieran. It's all there. But yeah, I, I agree with that. Just get it out of the way. Get your 3-6. You can drop 6-8 now if 8-P uh, comes up. Could potentially even see a lot of greed from Kieran and calling uh, and dropping 4-5 to try to call red and green. Oh wait, that's Honitsu chance. Or wow, I completely missed Kieran. that. Yeah, that's Honichu. Yeah, <laughs> I completely missed that. Yeah, Honichu chance. Very readable. Yeah. But I mean, it in eight P could come. Have to get a green and red as well, or at least one of them. But it's it's plausible. Fa and, and Kevin are holding on. Fa and Kevin are holding on to those lone honor tiles with all their life right now. I mean, the green you're gonna hold on to if you don't play it right away, right? You, you kind of just commit to waiting on that to end your hand. The problem is that Kieran could be shampooed on green and red, and Make Shower is, is just not going to be able to wait on both of those at the same time. They're going to have to opt to drop one or the other, which could deal in. And that's more of that greeting that honor. I know that you see that Kieran is probably playing it, um, but it just completely killing your hand off and letting the board go at their whim because you want to keep those in and not deal in is, is effectively putting yourself back. Chi. That's a Chi call, so now yeah, they're Ishan yeah, 10. Can pull it off of anyone now. Yeah, looking for just pawns. Ooh, he pick up, pick up. For Tungsten, it's probably 6M drop. Nope, Opsa keeps the pair. Okay. Genius! Kevin G, call on a call. Call that? Okay. Four comes Ooh, up. Four yep. up Immediate up one upgrade line. and yep. now also Tanya. that Tanya. Absolutely. Looking for 2-5-M or 5-8-P. Could potentially see a lock though with Kieran's hand. Um, rendering Tungsten Steeler useless. Kevin G is still clinging on to that no Yakudora. Bonus. Right comes there out. There we go, and now Kieran's in Kira's in ten pi, and I imagine oh, oh, I an no. to immediate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. That's the problem, make sure you keep uh, that that long. If it's unchecked, you gotta end waiting on it. And that's a hot uh, if you're if you're make shower, you gotta watch out for that. If you're if you're gonna keep the door that long, you you just gotta wait on it. That's was, that's how that I was works. Just, I was just saying there might be some danger looking at the telegraphed Honitsu, but uh, I feel then right away. Yeah. I mean, just just a pure mystery there. So, this game is almost over. Not quite. Could still see some big hands coming out. I mean, we out. could still see some could shifting. Shake things up. I mean, Kevin yeah. G does have their dealership um, still for Tungsten. Or to try to, like, bring Tungsten down. Try to keep it more competitive with Kieran. Um, but Make Shower is, is basically done Gee. after that. And, uh... Kieran is feeling really confident. Yeah, Kieran just opting to play fast. Um, how? Bonya. Standing. Kieran is with UTA. UTA is not doing too bad, but and with with Johnson. Well, I, I was just thinking if if Kieran gets dealership right, okay. is yeah. do you throw Tempai to just end the game, take the Uma where you're at, or do you try and train off of it with the potential that somebody catches up with a Yakuman? right or something like that um and i i think 
while you are plus or minus zero, you're like 25 behind. I think it's worth it to, to try to snowball a bit. T. Especially if everybody else is gonna have to play slow. I don't I don't hate that option at all. Although the problem Kieran's coming up is there's not exactly a great hand you're back in right now. Look at look at Ke look at Kevin avoiding fourth here. Kevin's doing good, but the problem is gave up the Dora. Kieran gets another Han and is now a Tempai on two five S. Not a good wait, but a wait. There is one more 2S to be seen, two more 5S. Um, oh, and the draw drops out. Tanya Dora coming out for the 2K hand, but when you are in the lead, getting that plus 50K, that's all you need. So now the question is, um, how long does Tung or does Kieran go? I feel like I what I'm thinking here is 50k is a lot, and 50K. if if Kieran can snowball this, I go for it. But if there's like any any like imminent danger, then it's time to fold. Then you can just yeah, no tenant. Kevin's got a pair of greens. Yeah, if you're Kieran though, you definitely just play it low and slow. You play as safe as possible. Your worst case scenario is dealing into somebody. Tungsten, uh, <laughs> speaking of threatening Yakumans, Tungsten, uh, <laughs> one draw away from Sanako and could potentially upgrade to Suanko. Still very far away from that, but evident. Uh, possibility for the board. Ops to kill the West immediately. Interesting with that hand like that, but who knows? Oh, that's your Yaku I too. No, you kill Green off there 100 percent before you kill West. You get the Dora too, so even you can take uh Sananko plus double Dora to get some good value. Bonya. I think you greet that West even a bit more, because right now all you're trying to do is catch up to uh Kieran. Kieran, speaking of, not hitting good draws, still pretty far away, I believe. Ron Chantan, maybe even a little bit more. Or no, I think it's just Ron Chantan, but no good end route weights. Um, well, now that West is... Future. Oh, and that keeping that one thing would have been nice earlier. Happens though, can try to jiggle towards Tanya, if desired. Make shower Tempai right now, right? Yeah, Tempai on just 4S, no Yaku at the moment. Could upgrade to. No, can upgrade to a Pinfu. Maybe trying to look for a Tanya with like a 6 drop, I guess. Maybe trying to wait, try to con twos, hit the nuts, pull up a 1M. Still a lot of 1Ms to be seen, so very possible that could be in the door wall. We view the wall? Nope. Yeah. I'll view it. I'm imagine if you. Big. Imagine if you could view the oh, wall. Yeah. I love to do that in the middle of a hand. I I, I have to know whether the one I'm saying. It's That's like looking butt. at the. It's like it's like if broadcasted Texas Hold'em lets you look at the deck. <laughs> I mean, hey, hey, don't worry about that part. <laughs> you know how cool that would oh. be. See if they're about to hit the nuts. See what they yeah. mean. <laughs> Ooh, and Kieran, Ishan Town now. Decent chance for a Pinfu way, um, but still. That bust is that face holding on to it. Kevin G pushing the hand bit by bit. Reachy for Kieran. Oh, yeah, Reachy Pinfu. Go for it. Easy. Yeah, Easy re Pinfu. 3 6, you know, Kevin G is probably throwing those unless they sense danger. Uh, you, you might be breaking other people's hands. Although 3-6 is hard, hard set down. 6 is completely locked with all of them in Tungsten's hand. No shot, they get dropped. And Reaching for is FA, not one better. Or, or S. Yeah. Make Shower just trying to reclaim some points after the other reach. I mean, 
in a format like this where dealer can go on and on like yeah you're scared of losing some points but like with a hand like that i think you just give it away and then does tungsten see or see yeah yeah here's the <laughs> thing the dealer can just wait and wait and wait and like you don't want them to rock it up in points but you you have a hand or two to play with you don't need to you know all in on this you have some options to play around Sumo. Oh, but the sumo comes up. <laughs> sumo. I mean, still. And how much, is it, how much is it going to bring them up? Two Han. Yeah, two Han without the con. Yeah, he's in anything. fourth. And still in fourth, so it's not even with the Uma bonus. I think I think if you're make shower there, you just you take it slow. You let Kieran maybe get another hand. Just avoid dealing in. Even if you got to play the 1,000 for Tempai, your main goal is to get the third Uma here, at <laughs> least. So. I get trying to go for Ura. Um, does an Ura hit? Oh, I think an Ura hit actually did. Yeah, Ura hit would have been uh, just enough to get over Kevin G. But it's whatever happens. So is the other game still going on potentially? Uh, the other the other game just ended. You might. Oh. We have a 15 minute break right now. You might just want to graze through the south round of that game. Oh, yeah, that'll be up. Oh, wow. Won't need to end it. Oh, with Theo. Well, that's a quick little peek. Theo ending 300 points behind. Look at that. That is kind of an insane break. So let's try to see where our updated points are. I think those I'm are just getting put in. in right now. Yeah. So we will be updating that before we take a quick break. This is after Hanshan four of eight. So UW minus six. Ooh, big climb for UW there. Coming up to minus six. E to A to thirteen point nine. ITCG forty one point one doing quite well. And then VTEC slipping to forty nine point eight. Oh no, or forty nine point six. I was just grazing through the game, and it looks it looked like the luck finally ran out for Shin. I mean, with a with a first game like that, like you cannot keep it going, you know. With three <laughs> games like that, you cannot keep it going. Right, it's 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 a hard sell. I mean, you're never expecting to keep that up for two, especially with Shin if they're playing that aggressive and open. Uh, you you never know. You must imagine what's going on with ITCG right now. Sen Krivi literally told me he wasn't expecting to make the finals, and now they're leading at halfway through the finals. Pretty decent lead, too. Only team that's positive right now. Well, UT Austin's also positive. Oh, oops. I messed up that. Yeah, so UT Austin at... 13.9 not negative 13.9 but i mean still leading up 30 after the first half of games that's that's not too bad definitely yeah. not out of the water uh what's what's the uma 15 5 30 5, oh wait 30 10 okay 30 10 so there is definitely room to catch up um even if vt has a stellar last half um, very, very possible. There is to be said, too, that ITCG, uh, Haruzen is their star player, is also, uh, was the, I am, was Haruzen the champ? No. Haruzen made the finals with Harzen a sweep finals. in the individuals. Yeah. I mean, sweep, sweep in the individuals qualifier. In the yeah, so did not win final table, I don't think, but did make it to final table. Very, very strong player. So we will be. You wanna? 
Mm. You want to look at that south? Um, eh, we can we can take a quick pause through. Uh, but also, nice to give everybody a break once in a while. We'll check the log really quick, see if there's anything too crazy that went on. So let's see. Uh, yep, just south one. What do we got going on? 8,800 sumo. 13. Ooh, some nice progression. One comes out. Pushed against the reach. 5-8, not too bad. A pimpu. 5 comes up. Damn, ops to not go. Well, I guess with double six drops, you kind of have to do that. Draws last seven. Disgusting. On gone with it. Nothing too out. Too much else going on. Just hard and kind of cleaning up. Other big jump. 8,200 from them. Or standings like too. Everybody fairly close at this point. Go to the same one. What's going on? Come on, let's work this out. Okay, it looks like the log is being buggy right now. But imagine that I went over the horizon and it was like a cool hand that made it into 8900. <laughs> Whoa, wow. Oh, wow. Insane. Whoa. Yeah, it's my shoulder. But anyway, uh, I think it's good. Give people some intermission. You know, when, when's the next game starting up? In uh, about 15-ish, uh, or I guess about 20 with the five-minute delay, right? Yeah, so 3.50-ish. Yeah, so about 3.50 EST next game will be up and running. We'll be back, bringing it live for the exciting second half of the team's finals. So, you know, take Did a you... bathroom break, get your snack, get some water. You're going to want to strap in. Did you know that Cinderella's Mexican? Oh. There we go. <laughs> the Mexican Cinderella. Hey, this is not a Cinderella story today. ITCG is looking dominant. No comebacks here. But we will see everybody in about 20 for the start of the second half.
Mm. After after the first half, after this first half of the finals, we've got ITCG in the lead. Um, it's still really anyone's game, though. Look, I mean, with the 30-10 Uma, Virginia Tech being in fourth is going to have a little bit of a hole to dig out. This Hanchan three is going to be crucial for them for staying in the rest of the tournament without needing too much of a stretch. I'd say Wisconsin and UT Austin are in pretty good position to maybe try to come come up from behind on ITCG and try to take them out. But ITCG is looking very comfortable. But one thing to note with ITCG is that Harzen, um, their ace, has already played all two of his games. So that's, that's it for the tournament for him. Now it comes down to Ballas and Kevin G and Von H on for the rest of it for them. Yeah, it's definitely looking like can the other players um, keep it going and hold this lead that they have. Definitely 30 points is comfy, but with also having a 30-10 Uma, that can slip really, really fast if you're not careful. So now we're being teleported right into the game featuring wow. featuring John Live, David, Marv, and Ballas. Enjoy. Let's open up yep. the tiles. Second one. <laughs> the floor went immediately. Let's go. I'm glad we got on this table just for that. Hey, don't even need to show the hands for that one. It would have been interesting to see if they did it for the meme though, and so it had a good hand, or whether they all just threw. That's so fun though. You don't see four win draws too much. Uh, and, uh, especially I... in competitive scenarios too, because like other than standard martial tournaments, like uh, WRC or World Reachy Championship rule sets that a lot of like more competitive tournaments use, uh, don't play with any draws whatsoever. I I kept those in. Oh just yeah, I, I, I like draws. Draws are fun. I I mean I think they're skillful too. Like it's one of the things where I disagree with WRC. Um, like, the only really non-skillful way for it is if you're the dealer and throw that out, but, like, dealer, I think, is already pretty powerful, so I, like, don't hate them being slightly nerfed in that way. And, I mean, it doesn't come up a lot, too. Looking at, looking at John Light, is they've got a, is that Tenpai yet? Um, That's Tenpai. Um, up got, the got to discard out the... I gotta discard the three pin. Oh, oh! I love it. I, you know what? I'm glad we stayed at this table. No, that wasn't Tempai. Or wait, no, it was. No, I love it. I'm all about it. Cause now you can try to pair up the nine pin, and you can get more value. Cause you can go pin Fu and then maybe even Tanya if you want to ditch the Dora, if it looks appetizing. This is this is the second half of the tournament. All the wait, all of the powerhouses have been saving their fireworks for the last two Hanshans. I I'm all about it. So we got, I believe, Jian Jianlai. I'm probably butchering the hell out of that. Apologies in advance. Just read the Marshall name. Come on. There's a, oh yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Jianlai, David. So it's yeah, definitely uh, interesting so far. And John Light actually picks up the paired seven mons. If four or seven mon is drawn here, we could see the nine drops for a reach Pinfu. Because while nine is nice, if you drop it and get Tanya instead, then it's the same amount of points, and it can kind of make your uh, hand look not as scary. Although Kalancho or Marv or Colin Chloe or Marv, Marv. is definitely uh, definitely looking a little scary. Could see a Champlon on a one pin and nine pin. Five comes what? out. I'm curious what the th thought is. Oh, looking for two five. I don't know. Uh, I think I think you keep the Manzu there. Doesn't end up mattering, but I think the Manzu looks less scary there. In in moments time, he went from I love it to I don't agree with it. I mean, I I it's it's very slight, but I just I uh I think keeping the seven Mon as your backup pair is better than keeping the five pin. 
I think that's Richie for David. Richie? Could be three sided. Yeah, 369. Is that a three sided? That's crazy. Oh, counter Richie. Gonna be on three pin only, so not looking good, Richie. but can throw the terminal. Follies does opt for it. What is and John Lies gonna gotta, do? I here? imagine that's gotta be a fold. That three month's so scary. No, it's safe. It's safe for Steeler. Oh, that could be E Pots. That could be E Pots into David. Oh, e -pots into David. No. that's oh, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> that's so unfortunate. Uh, two Great Han play, only. But yeah, two Han. You can't you can't hate dealing into that too. You you avoided dealer. It's only two Han. Like it sucks, but I I think that was the right discard there. Definitely not a bad play whatsoever, in my opinion. It's just unfortunate oh. that it happened to work out uh, against them. So, what's going on now? What do we got? Huh, Marv opting to drop the North pair. Very interesting with a hand like that. Marv started off with a with a possible Kokushi had. Now they're gonna have a little nah, bit of a trick it was, it was there, the, the problem with Kokushi there is that there was just there were too many pair terminals and it was still kind of far. I don't think playing Kokushi is right, but I mean when you have the North and you have the Dragons, I would think that you just get rid of West before double North. Oh, never mind. They dropped two Norths to start. I'm stupid. Yeah, no. <laughs> with two Norths you, you don't call that immediately and like yeah, I, I agree with that. As a respectable play, I'm losing my eyes <laughs> after our uh, three of commentary. Almost it's all good. <laughs> that happens, you know. Picked it up in the end, didn't let it quite pass. Uh, still not much going on in the dragon department though. No whites, no greens for Marv to think about calling. Ballas just looking to shape up the hands, still kind of far off even though they got a Dora. I'm David. looking around to see if there's any interesting hands. David, Rion, John Lai, John Lai is... Is that Eshan? Can I count? That's... That's no, Nishan Rion Ten. They, Ten. Yeah, Rion Chan Ten. Con out. Uh-oh. Ain't WRC rules. What's the flip gonna be? I don't know. Ooh, hey! Yeah. Picks up Adora. And yep, easy. Easy two mod drop there. 100%. John Light could be looking at a Reach Pinfu. Could even Reach just opt a Dama if uh, 8S comes out. I don't really, I don't really sense any danger going on around this table from John Light's perspective. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I think it's not about danger. I think the, uh, I think it's more about just trying to catch somebody off. Because three six isn't the best looking at this board either. Sure, but they're also dealer. And I those mean, points go up really quickly. Yeah, that's that's very true. Mm. Especially if you're actually, especially if you're waiting on Pinzu, that save looks pretty non-threatening right now. Maybe you see it. Maybe we could see a Dama if the weight is on five eight s. Uh, just because like Sozu looks now, like the suit they're trying to pull for, but now it looks like John lies one upgrade away from making his Tanya as well. Yeah, six pawn does do it. David, cutting is that not quite tempai? Still Ishan, a lot of upgrades though. And all of a sudden, Bali's tempai on eight pin, but not looking super good. Although there are still two to be drawn. Oh, and that four. Gonna drop it, send it off. Uh, Maybe Adama, try to get. Yeah, I agree with that. I love that. I love Adama. it. On, on really the, look. Or on the uh, terminal, or not the terminal, on the Easy. Dora, too. Absolutely. David's now, got a reach here. Now, maybe you see a reach. Mm. Challenge mm. value for value. There's only a couple draws left. Oh, that too is scary. Yep. Down. We got a showdown. Yeah, but I think it's 5-8, that's dead. That's, yeah, four fives. There's a single eight. Oh, it 
Thanks, Rolling! You're so sumo! <laughs> Richie Pond sumo? That's nuts. That's insane. What a pickup. Ura hits. No Ura hits. No Ura hits, but don't need That's it. Still Dealer Hane, Mon. Oh my Dealer god. Dealer That oh. is disgusting. Ugh. That's exactly Ugh. what Virginia Tech wants. That's yeah, what Virginia John Tech Lai. needs to get out of the so hole. Huge points picked up. That is the type of star that you are going to want to take your team out of the hole. Only East 2, you know that, right? Yeah. It's only, it's, it's only East. It's a great I mean, hey, VT is down a lot right now, though. <laughs> they want to take VT? that and they want to steamroll with it. VT's got a claw, qua claw quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, Anchon... they, got four, they got four games to do it, so it's very possible. But you, you really want a solid game to kind of lessen it on the rest of your team. Oh. Also, what a weird hand from David. Already an Epeko guaranteed. Could opt for Chanta. Even just a Pinfu. I the, the West. <sighs> Ooh. I mean, I mean, honestly, I, I kind of agree with checking red green before West. Just, just to you know, really gauge where Yaku highs are on the board. West is less likely to be used, so I don't necessarily hate that actually. Out, chuck all the dragons. Yeah, just chuck white, chuck green, check the board, see who's got what. If anybody wants to take a quick Yaku high, check dealer, make sure they don't have any more value. Just, I, I think, I think a wise person once told me that throwing out, throwing out the honor tiles. Honor tiles um, early kind of devalues everyone else's hands because they're less likely to yes, want to go sir. for it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was also a criticism of how I played, and they said devaluing other people's hands made it less fun. <laughs> nah. <laughs> it's dragons. If you're trying to get value off dragons, you could see a reach oh, here. Reach okay. on 1 4, though. Okay, 1 4. Do opt for it. Take the Tanya. Or not take the Tanya. Take the uh, E Peko. Fujinami. I kind of agree with that. Try to uh, stiffen out VTech quickly. Get the deal off after there's some value. Scare the rest of the board away. And I mean, it's a terminal weight, so. Oh, does oh, Ballas put down? Ballas plays right into David. Oh. <laughs> Ballas and pushing their hand falls right into the trap. Oh, almost. Almost. <laughs> Scary where it came up. Not quite. One though. off. One off. Thinking about it. But, I mean, not too bad. John Lai. Big points with that Hanemon. Didn't deal in, too. Still value to be had. Very interesting hand from Ballas here. Hmm. A lot of pairs. South is not going to be the Yaku high. Oh, and red's in the wall, though. That could be bad. If Ballas all ends for the red, there's only one more. Sorry, Oh, and that might be what we see. Oh, not a half flush ankle. Scary. Oh, now potentially looking at a toy toy. Toy toy. Five P is gonna be really hard to come out though. Five P is going to be a hard hard sell. Bammy drops. Oh my. <laughs> John, I, I'm just going to be real. You're running a tournament for villains today. <laughs> You're, some, something about this lobby. Uh, the tournament flow for some people is off the charts. <laughs> just right in. But, I mean, here's the thing. Ballas is still at Noyaku. Ballas needs, a, to pair needs up. a red. Oh, could see a 7-8 ditch. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The white's not going to yeah. fare anything for them. They don't know it yet, but I, I do like that. From their perspective, I think the white's definitely the right play. Seven comes out. Oh, and there's the pair of the whites. This could spell disaster. I think Paulus's only hope is if a red dragon comes out. Yeah. But it looks so dangerous from this point. I can't imagine people are going to just be ready to ditch it. Oh, I love that. I actually really like that. 
while you might oh, yeah, think that's so... bad, it secures Sanshoku and Chanta out. Yeah, so, so you I'm don't have to the... you don't have to triple the white to still play the hand, and it can be a little bit faster. It is hard. Getting the two is going to be a struggle, uh, two peen specifically, but it is possible. And there's still three one uh, one s's on the board. Oh my, <laughs> dude! Tournament of villains. I'm waiting on the white. It could come, it could come down for him. In. I don't think John Light's dropping. Actually, mm, if the E2 comes out, they might risk it. Especially if it's on a reach E2. Very, very possible. Yeah, eat that watermelon ballast. I was thinking they're eating good, but a little tough. North's coming down for David. Um... Yeah, it looks like Ballast is gonna... Oh, uh, oops. But yeah, you definitely play the white there from this scenario. You never know. <clears throat> two coming out, but it's in the wrong hands. I can't imagine that David is gonna opt to drop a two pin at any point, too. So there's one single two pin left for uh, Marv. That's the other problem with forcing out that E2. It's, it's just tough. Like, I like playing aggressive and trying to secure the Dora and just hoping to brick anybody, and then you can always call it if it comes up, but then you get into a situation like this. You got two 1s's to pull that you need half the board to get and drop. You need to find another 2-peen. That's an interesting drop from David on the 4-peen. Well, it is safe. Oh. oh. Reach Sean Paul in 1 4. There's no ones on the board. Could see it. 1 4 left. Ops to Dama. 1 4 left. Dama. Oh, no Yaku Dama. Oh, I think that's, that's full so... then. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Or drew the 9 to pair so we could see the 1 P and Deech if 1 S comes up. But that's gonna deal right in. Or no, it won't deal in. It's not in Reach. Now's the time. I don't think David's gonna reach reach either. They might just fold his hand at this point. I think there's too much it's danger. Really scary I think he sent too yeah. much danger here. It's really scary across the board. Honestly, the big baller play from Ballas here is to just ditch the dragon second off and try to scare people into dropping something weird. Is there any tile that scares David off? Of the oh my god! It spoils the head! Sumo no me. Sumo no me. Sumo dealer! Sumo no me. We love to see uh, it. You love to see it. That's that good, good. This is, the, this is an action pack table. I'm all about this one. This is, this is literally a table straight out of Saki. Oh, yeah. Definitely cannot hate this. This table has been a multitude of things, but at the forefront of it all, entertaining at the least. Now some interesting decisions, though. What is Wallace's... Very weird 3S drop there. I think, yep, I think it's greeting for those honor pairs. Can't be doing that, Ballas. You gotta keep that 3S. Just shape up. Don't fall prey. And John Lai. David gotta put down here some options. Puts down the 7 Mon, which is the least efficient tile. I think that makes sense here. Yeah, you got everything else close. I, I think that's right. John Lai with the uh, Sanma special here with the Dora 9s paired up together and no other Monzu to be seen. Marv still fishing for value. Oh, okay, that's a big pickup. Okay. Imagine 1M, right? Yep. Ishan 10 now. Ishan 10 looking on 3S. No, no, Rian Chan 10 still. Yeah, still Rian Chan 10. There's a little bit too much clunkiness with pairs. You gotta drop the red now. Yeah. Just get rid of it. Don't need it. 
Marv shaping up a bit. What is Marv shape. doing here? Interesting. Still a little bit far, but yeah, it good, good could work. Oh, Ballas. Uh, that is going to be E Shantan. E pick our chance as well. Won't be Pinfu because mm -hmm. of the East, but never know. How are they looking on that? There's one more three pin. Uh, oh, why did Ballas drop the three mon here? Uh, that is a great question. I actually have no idea. Maybe, no, I can't imagine you're going to go into Maybe looking to ditch the east or pick the east up, potentially, for more points, I guess. I mean, there's an argument on it. East is only once cut, so there's don't a decent that. chance it comes don't, out if you can don't call wait that on that. Oh no! Uh, 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 now he's button. now he's stuck with the east. Yeah, Ballas fell he, the button. Ballas, re Ballas realizes it right away. Yeah, I think a lot of the players coming into don't necessarily have a lot of experience with like a tournament, a tournament environment like this. So I think like the timer as well as like the extra um, kind of stakes on it definitely can lead people to making some choices they wouldn't normally make. When I played, when I when I played in the qualifier, um, I for the first, I feel like for the first time I've been playing online Mazong, I made an emotional decision. Yeah. I mean, a, a decision based on emotion rather than like really oh, good yeah. instincts. Especially yeah. when that timer starts, like, you know, winding down and you start feeling pressured, it's like, ugh. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, David's every option looks good yet terrible at the same time. Could see a reach here from Marv. Gonna be Pimpu, but 2 5, pretty solid. Sozu, looking pretty safe against them. David doesn't. Do, do they, does David have save tiles? They could uh, drop the 8, no, you know, full hold. Uh, drop yeah, six, six, six to save. You have three seven S as options, or three P and seven S as a con by option. John Light. There, yeah. Con on the one against the reach. Don't know if I agree with that. That's a bit risky. Who's oh, dangerous? Yeah, yeah. Deals it tomorrow. See, but now you're feeding other people value. Oh, it didn't matter. No, you're hit. Unlucky. Although you did give one Dora, so it's worth a little bit more points, but not a big deal. Ends up working out, because John Lai can kind of keep the rat race between those three for uh, Uma points. And try to distance themselves more from others. So, what's going on here? Not too much happening at first glance Mar, everyone kind of just building up from what I'm seeing Ballas is gone Shantan already but a little bit clunky for the pickups and is not eligible for Pimpu with that south pair mm. the other table's already in south 2 and it's looking it's looking like Hyper is going to run away with it oh, Wisconsin's wow. in last uh oh, so forty-one thousand good for UW, but that could be the catch-up that uh, UTA needs. Meanwhile, Ballas, Ballas being his last here is not for Cheetoy instead of playing a standard hand. Very curious decision from Ballas. With ITCG in last right now and Bon A Chan in third in the other table, that those oh, forty one so points could just could, could just, dis away. Could just dissipate. Wow. Yeah, from a confident lead all of a sudden to looking just trickling down bit by bit. Genius. Marv's trying to get something going, play a little bit faster with those two Doras, secure that value. Respect it. Reading the dragon's a bit long, but lucky for Marv, not too much to go against it. 
Yeah, I think if anything, you just opt to like keep those and then try to uh, go to a Tanya route and then drop white red to end. You never know if you'll get the pair. Yeah, I'd imagine Otanio comes out. Just try to play first thing that comes to uh, mind. That six is one of the best pickups they can get. Now pawn on the two can put them in uh, no free 10 tempi on seven pin. And ball is still just kind of. I guess playing standard in, playing Otanio. It looks like Tanya, but they also do have the out for a three-sided white. Well, not oh, anymore. Yeah, that goes. So now it's Tanya. Drop one, but you gotta drop Dora for it. Oh, it's so good. Uh, good. drop the. Really? Not. Oh, seven are dead. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, yeah seven. Yeah. Oh, and three is for a ten. Yeah, I'm stupid. Absolutely the correct decision. We're both. We're, we're both kind of stupid here. It'd be like that. It'd be like that. It's like an hour 20 million of commentary. I mean, Jalen's got to drop the two mons, right? Yeah. Although, like, any Tanya, any symbol is going to be a super scary drop right now. Peter just hit Dora Urasan. <laughs> Rose. <laughs> On dealer. Oh my god. Tournament of villains. <laughs> Absolutely heinous. Oh? All of a sudden, Marv Tempai on Last Aura. Can't imagine that's hitting the table, but never know. West going out, I guess just opting to kill the nine off. I mean, Marv just full pushes this, like, easy, without a hesitation. <laughs> Probably try to get a better weight. Call by try John to hit for us, but... I think you Four. Can, yeah. I agree. For us, white. I mean, that's that's what you're hoping for. Wait on the 4S or draw 4S to uh, wait three now six. They're, now they're tipping out of it. Looks like so Ballast. Ooh, that is yeah. an interesting pawn. Could drop the 7 immediately if you want to. Uh, another... Yeah, that's that's a little greedy. I think I think it's right to take the pawn there now. Yeah, you gotta deal in like that. No. Deal in palace. I think that I think the pawn there is fair. Keep it as a single tile. Like while it doesn't advance your hand, like you want to change your weight. You want to give yourself some more option than a single Dora that's probably buried in somebody's hand. I think I think that was a little too greedy. But, but still, you we're know, we're finally in South One. <laughs> yeah, South One. Finally, it hasn't been that long. It's about yeah. right. It's been little. It went a little long, but it feels it feels a little longer with how bad shit this table has been. <laughs> yeah, there has been a lot of craziness going on. But like overall, other than the Hanemon, no big hands. Ballast will call that. Get, give yeah, them the oh, yeah. I mean, with, with double Dora, absolutely. Waiting on the Shampoo of like 632, I would even take just in case you can get another Dora from it. Fully play both of those. Now you might want to opt to take the John Men wait, but. Yeah, I with a, with a hand like that, 100%, you just full send it. As a dealer, especially. You're looking at like 9,000 something points, I believe. I'm coming up with John Lai. David almost has a hand going on. Lost and not quite found, but working on it. <sighs> Why would you drop that seven? Come on, Ballas. There's no reason to be doing that. I know if you want to keep the door open, at least just drop the four. Oh wait, never mind, I'm stupid. They dropped five S earlier. Yeah, they're trying to avoid free ten. Ugh, that's committal. That is very committal. But does incorporate another Dora and two more not seen to the light of day. Could have opted to ditch double no and double six there doesn't accomplish anything in dumb. That would be bad. Isha 
content. Set it fun. Yeah, 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 instant pawn call. Just lock in your two door. Don't don't get fancy with it. Lock in your two door Yakuhai, your dealer. Um, that is uh, That's a not quite enough drop. food to go more, <clears throat> but like still, so, yeah. Take your points when you got them, especially this dealer. Try to rubber band a bit back. John Light, interesting decision here. I'm gonna keep those one S's. Don't know if I agree with that. I mean, maybe scared of like the toy toy route, I guess. It's it's it can't be a honey too, with how many Sozu have dropped. Oh Toggy free. Oh. <laughs> no! Toggy just wait! <laughs> No, just switch your fucking tile with next draw. Why'd you do that, Ballas? Ah. Uh, and then the one S! That would have been so good. <laughs> you don't need 4 7 mod. It looks so dangerous with your board. No. Could have even con threes potentially. As a dealer, that shit is money. Don't. Oh, no. I mean, it's no. four. Yeah, okay. Still just goes to show. Should have kept that three, man. Should have talked it on something. That would have been a two sided. That would have been 4 7 way. 4 7 peen. Oh, yeah, David finally ready on 6 peen. That's a dealing tile now. And then the one! Ballers! <laughs> No. Well, it's what have you done? And the east. You could have waited on last east. Well, you felt what scared. have you done? Oh, oh you're missing out. Oh, value. That's big too. No, that's Let's actually huge. In here. So with that too, with the extra Dora, that actually puts Ballas at uh, Mongon range too. So it's an extra 3k points just from that one Dora. What is what is what is Marv's uh, white here? Seven Mon. Just seven Mon, yeah. I believe just wait. No, one four seven. Yeah. Oh one, yeah. Four, seven. Ooh. Not bad. I I respect that reach. I think you gotta take that. Single terminal left, so it's a little rough. But oh, draw that gives you Peko too. Yeah. That's the big one. And the Mongon pickup. Man, if Ballas would have just taunted on that one S. They would have just taunted on that one S. Ah. That's a situation where it's worth slowing down your hand a little bit. Even though you're dealer and you're like sacrificing your weight a little bit, I, I think it's 100% worth every time. Yeah. Um, other table's just about to finish. Oh boy, other table wrapping up. Yeah. While we're still in South to <laughs> John Lai, Yakuhai, at their disposal if they so choose to play it. Could also potentially pick up some value off that Dora, find 3 pin to resolve it. Not a terrible option. Marv, not nah, got a lot going on. Ball is still figuring it out. Could potentially see a double terminal Champon, which would be a little nasty, but still far off from that at the moment. All right, the other table just finished on the delay, so you might want to update the scores in the text box first. I'll put put the scores in, oh, and then I'll oh, go. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, you work on those scores. I'll uh, I'll get these going on, or maybe in between the break of the next game, we'll see. Or in between the break of uh, next hand. So. Marv opting to play a little bit slower, try to take the Yon Men's. Easy peasy. Still technically could see a 5 6 7 Sanchoku. But nah, the 8 the eight is going to be a tough Sanchoku, but. Nah, you got to drop 7 there. Actually, eh, one's for return. Nah, I still think okay. right. Okay, put the scores in. You might want to update the okay. text box. We'll give, it, we'll give it an update in a second. We'll see how this hand's going. Update it when everyone's dropping the terminals at the start, because this is a banger hand. John Lai, double door repair all of a sudden. 
Junior. Double Ryan Men waits. Marv just trying to race the hand, get value for it, and John Lies dealership. Seven S for John Lai. Uh, that is not quite Epeko. Very interesting hand for David. So much going on, yet like nothing at all. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That's gotta be. That's gotta be one pin drop. Yep. Yeah. Still some time, but gonna have to figure out how to draw that seven without uh, Puritan. Very very clunky. David doesn't see any Dora either, and uh, they can't play it in their hand. So I, I actually really agree with this play. Just fold out. You got no value. Take the backseat. Might even still be able to get Tempai at the end of the round. Richie. All this with the Richie far in. Bonya. What are we waiting on? Three sixteen. 316 for 316 for Alice. Oh, this could be the Tempai. Drop three. Just drop three S. Three so Yes! Ooh. Yes! Great recognition, David. Fantastic. And then they're gonna draw out Dora and ditch 7S anyway. <laughs> nope, three mon, three mon safe ish. Definitely yeah. much safer than 7S. Opting to fight for the Tempai. Gots to respect it. Nine is safe. Zumonia! Oh my god, it marred. <laughs> Yaku High will Marv cross it. <laughs> Green Dragon, know me. And the 1100. The classic Yaku High, know me. And now, while John is walking you through hands, I'm gonna update some scores for everybody. Okay, south, south three. Um. Not looking, not looking too hot for ITCG right now, but um, still, could, it, it's got to be a little bit hard. It's got to be a little bit hard, but they could try to pull it through. David, um, starting off with some some tiles that have to be discarded. Chloe, uh, uh, Marv is starting off with a um, pair of South. That that's their seat window. So when we're in South three, so that could be double. Uh, just try to just try to catch up to John Lai. John Lai's in the lead right now, and they get double Norths, which are also Dora. Okay, um, Ballas maybe half flush chance. They are kind of telegraphing it though, but I don't think they're gonna go for half flush here. Honestly, uh, that it's it's too far away. Rough. I think I think just. Eh, eh. I mean, actually, you need value. Your, like, team's kind of falling behind. I, I kind of respect it. Now's the start of when you want to uh, start playing, like, positionally for where your team is in the tournament, for where you want your end standing to be. Um, and, like, this isn't the worst hand to get it. Um, you're also fighting directly against Marv, right? Is Marv UT's player? Yeah, you're fighting Marv directly is... against Marv, so... Even if you uh, go down a little bit, if Marv also goes down, then it's not as big of a deal. Richie by John Lai waiting on John two, Lai, two five. five. Not Pinfu, but Dora not too, Pinfu, so but... not a big yeah. deal. Although, they look pretty hammered in. Marv's scared about dropping any of the sixes. Can't blame well, them. Well, now Ballas goes for the full flush. Inevitably, inevitably he's gonna have to no put down the fives. The flush comes out. There is no way. I imagine you gotta drop five in a chance of. Oh my <laughs> villains! 
<laughs> How many Richie Pod sumos have we gotten today? That's like an inside six, too. That's never coming out otherwise. Five, eight thousand. Yeah, with the concealed sows. Oh, gross. Mm. Gross. Mongon out of nowhere for Marv. And all of a sudden, UTA is looking really, really good here. UTA is looking quite nice to run away with this. They're up almost, they're up over 20 points right now, and they are in a decent spot to take first this game with ITCG getting a fourth. Marv is, Marv is very well in the lead with John Lai chasing. Well, well, it's, it's very much a battle between John Lai and Marv at this point. I don't think Ellis can do much to, like, swap positions with David at this point. No, David? Oh, yeah. I mean, Ballas just needs to, like, Yakuman Fiend, essentially. David, David would need, like, a monster, monster hand to try to get up there. Yeah, this is this is worst case scenario for Ballas too, because th the problem is right that the person you're directly competing against is in dealer seat. So when they're in first in a situation like this, you don't have time to stall the game out to try to get them to get hit over and over and over again. Uh, you kind of just have to sit back and hold steady. And there's not a lot you can do. Half flush, half flush potential for David. The West in there kind of throws some interesting shade, maybe suggesting like it, maybe suggesting a full flush. Yeah, just ditching off some value, seeing how it goes. Or trying to like feign people off the scent, but either way, I don't think it does a whole lot. I mean, Marv's got to decide whether they're throwing red or not. I mean, honestly, even if Marv can just end in first and get this Uma, that, that's almost wraps right there, even with two Hanchan left to play. Like, if, if you're Marv, throwing Tempai here and ending the game is not a terrible decision in the slightest. Not even it kind of, remotely it could also, decision. It it could also become the Texas tradition. We saw Unluck do it a lot in um, the I mean, individual throwing finals. Tempi to th throwing Tempai to secure Uma is, is valid, especially when it's 30-10. 30-10 is a very high Uma, so it is a very, very valid strategy. Huh? Like, your worst case scenario is to just reduce your placement and deal into people. And have and give people time to hit Yakumans or some crazy insane hand. Not much, not much in terms of crazy insanity we're seeing here, though. Yeah, Maybe but, Ballas. I mean, you never know after a reshuffle if it's going to happen. Ballas could be trying to push a full flush. Maybe. I mean, that's about their only option. Either that or a triple of the. Uh... Yeah, the problem is that's going to get snap called easy. Really? Is that a toy toy opt? Huh. Hmm. Does that get them anywhere? So toy toy Honitsu. There's another four. Two. I mean, it's still better just to push the Chinitsu if you're gonna go down that route. Alright, no, I guess the toy toy is a Mongon as well because of the foo. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, sure. And this allows you to incorporate the reds. I actually like that play a lot. Mm -hmm. That is definitely the smart play in that scenario. John Lai, thinking about John going Lai's into reach thinking. maybe, just gonna take the Tempai on the three six. Tempai. That's also that that that's also Tanya, so they can dama this Way just fine. Way Tanya. It's not enough to take a so. Huh? Yeah, it's not nearly enough to take first. 8P is totally dead. Oh! They're opting for the Toy Toy. They're, it... they're full committed, so... Yeah. The only problem is that... There, there's still one more 9. It's just not looking good, though. 
I mean, do you take this if you're John Lai, or do you just ten by farm? Sorry, <sighs> I think you just gotta reach it. I think I think that's a reachy. I think I you, mean, gotta you gotta reach hope. That. Yeah, if you reach, reach. yeah, it's if you reach and it hits, you go over Very. for sure. So you just gotta hope that it comes up. Even if you give out the one k, like you're only gonna get anywhere if you do this. Especially because it looks like Marv is like throwing. Three tiles left. Ballast completes the full flush. Yeah. Can you hear me clapping on the mic? Nah, but it doesn't do anything. Don't matter. Nothing. Tenpai. Only Tenpai for John Lai. Not quite enough to overtake, though. Good recognition by Marv to realize that is an option. And that is going to do it for game six. And it is looking like UTA's. UTA's time to lose. Or not time to lose, but UTA's turning to lose. Win. UTA to lose. is going to have to really have a hard, uh, a hard, hard showing in the final two Hanchans in order to pass this up. They're up by so much right now. Getting updated standings on the screen, but yeesh. They are over a hundred up, so. Yeah, after that round, uh, was it ITCG who was looking very good all of a sudden, now barely negative. And not a whole lot they can do for it. Wisconsin's cur Wisconsin's currently in last. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean with... it, it's still it could still be shaken up between VT and ITCG. Yeah, I, think... I mean, even UW um, again, like two first, like I. Nobody is going to be able. The only situation where UTA doesn't come out on top of this is if they get two force and ITCG just hammers in these next two Hanshan. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I mean, everybody else is is pretty like set to take it all, or anybody else could potentially take it all. They need double first, but I mean, it's not like UTA is going to fight for more first. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They don't really have a need to. Uh, but I think after those matches, we are, since we finished that Hanchan slot up a little early, going to go ahead and head to an intermission. Take another quick break. I'm going to update this. When's the next Hanchan starting, John? About uh, 15 minutes from now? the broadcast time to like 4.50. Yeah, it should be about 4.50 when it starts up EST. So, got another easy 10, 12 minute break worked in before our final exciting Hanshan. Hopefully, um, even if UT, UT Austin plays a bit passive, we will see some interesting play from the other tourney goers uh, trying to shake things up. Or at least trying to overtake each other. But we will see everybody then. Uh, hope everybody is due and good, and we will see you in a few.
Alrighty, everybody, we are back for Hanshan number four. Or not Hanshan number four. All last. The final group. All last Hanshan. All last Hanshan. So, uh, it's looking like UT's game. Or UTA's game. They're up I mean, by 100 points. I mean, even with minus 30 Uma. They would have to both end up at 5k, right? I think. Yeah. In order to go negative, and that's that's a stretch. Especially with how strong the players are, I, I can't imagine both UTA players going down to 5k. I mean, who knows though? Two fours could potentially snap uh, ITCG, maybe even BT up if they have just an absolute crazy game. Uh, I mean, what what do you think the strategy is here, really, if you're not UTA? For UTA, you play safe. For everyone else, like, how do you approach having to get Yakumon levels of success or just Wait crazy the... hands over and over and trying to usurp them? Going for the fence. <laughs> you think so? Um, I think um, it's certainly gonna it's certainly a three on one effort now everyone's gonna ha really have to curb yeah. stop ut austin everyone together is um, going and to then... have to fully attack i think one of the big things too um and i realized this last team's tournament is when you're oh. put in a situation where you need like these crazy things and granted last teams like agariyame was on so i had a little bit less time to work with um and there were red fives so it was a little bit easier to get like causeways and stuff but i think one of the big things that people don't think about is you have to stop number one in their tracks you have to get them scared and worried if you let them just take 1k hands race over and over even just let them play safe and just advance the game with like dominant 1k hands they're gonna do it and they're gonna steal you need to hit them very hard very early so they are forced to play a standard game and take risks Without doing that, you're basically setting yourself up for failure. And I think all the teams yeah. need to kind of realize that right away. That Hypera needs to take a hit really bad. Gotta be a little bit hard. Yeah. Gotta be a little bit hard, though. This is the table of aces, including Hypera. Yeah, uh, what is it? Is Vanechan, UTCG. Yeah, Vanechan, the only unknown. Player. So, no info on them, but I mean, I, I believe all of our players. David is a high master, Hypera is a high master, uh, Expert 2 for uh, VT's Junji. Junji also the winner of VT Tech's tournament last semester and Fun. a finalist this semester, so a very strong player. Um, it, it's definitely not a table of slack in any sense of the word. Sumo. Oh, it's it begins. It? Yep, quick sumo for Junji. Oh. Quick sumo for Junji. That puts Hypra in tied for second. Yeah, again, the Hy Hypra has to take a big hit quick. They need to get Hypera scared very fast in order to try to slow this game down. And the same thing has to happen on the other table. That's too, or that as well. It's it's How such much? a hard situation for everybody. That's not in UTA. Oh, pass on the Reds. I mean, again, just with if you're if you're Hypera, the the number one thing that you're doing right now is playing safe. You are taking zero risk. Absolutely none. Not even opening up for a quick Yaku high to just scare the board. Like you and speaking of which, let me switch perspective. You are just playing as safe as you can, having all the tiles you can. You are ecstatic that you're gonna be able to drop those reds as double safe tiles later, because nobody's gonna be playing Kokushi and probably Tonky waiting on them. There is there is one curb stomp strategy that comes to mind. If if Hyper plays super safe, then Junji, David, and Vanechan could can hit Sumo multiple times 
but and an even amount of still, tumult. But then the game is still advancing is the problem. And like, yeah. you're gonna have a fast hand here or there. That's why you really need to cement that Piper is gonna have to be scared and have to play from behind and try to contest the board instead of just Hyper getting to play their own game and everybody else rat racing against each other. But if everyone's if everyone's hitting sumos, then that that will eventually see points out of Hyper. The bleed will yes. If the bleed happens, then Hyper will have to start trying to contest it. But sumo bleeding is I I feel like is a lot harder to come by. Um, especially if that is a strategy of what you're trying to do. Sumo bleeding, I find, just kind of happens more. Richie for David, waiting on, e waiting on, um, what's the, what's the hand called? My brain is dead on, right now. Uh, I don't think that's Shito on an Ipeko. Ipeko. Richie for Vane, waiting on 5-8. 5-8, that'll be a pin too. Not too bad. Ooh, Ipot Sumo for Ooh. the dealer. That's big. Sumo. That's a lot of good. Okay. The only problem is that Hyper needs fourth as well, so that's the other thing. Hyper has two win conditions on this table. Wow. More Mon. Money. Mon. Ooh, Mon. Big buy, Mon. Okay. The double door. But okay. that doesn't alleviate. The problem is that not only does Hyper have to get like a 5k game, they have to be fourth. It cannot be one person going away and stealing the entire game. Yeah. Like, for well, UTA the... to lose this, they need to not only be the last on the table, but have bad last on the table. The first the first thing you gotta think about is curb stomping UTA, but on top of on top of that, there's still the prize there's still the aim of winning the tournament or trying to win the tournament. So it's like you have to play unselfishly, but at the same time you kinda have you to have think to, about yeah, yourself. It's, now. it's a very interesting balance. I mean Vanishan representing ITCG too. Like that, that's a golden hand right there. You love to see that. You put yourself ahead, you have a good chance to get first. Now, if you can just focus on targeting Hypera to bring UTA down, um, you are in a very good spot and very, very quick hand to show for it too. A lot of upgrades. Um, could, could we see a Pinfu? Nah, probably not. Pinfu's, I actually could see a Pinfu. Um, could also see Tanyao potentially from Bonichan. A lot of interesting upgrades oh. on this Ishan hand. Hey, that's... Ooh, okay, Junji just Jun opting to take the Tenpai right away. It's gonna be 5 6 weight. Kind of bad tiles, but a lot of upgrades. Formon being a free 10 trap, so not gonna take that one, but pretty much everything else, good to go. David's got, David's got triple David Dora. Does call the reach with concealed triple Dora. The only problem Sumo. is that's seven well, inside. Man, it. Yeah. Sumo. Set seven mods a hard way, I think. I think as much as you really want to try to cement those points, I think you kind of got to dom that. Try to improve the weight just there. Although maybe because yeah. it's once cut, you just take it as is. David and Hyper are uh, David and Hyper are kind of close enough to switch. I mean, I mean that David could try to switch positions. I mean, second through fourth are within a mangan, and when you're within a mangan, you can make almost any hand a mangan if you really want to try for it. So it is it is still up in arms. They really need to try to go hard on UTA. Unless Vane just has a crazy run, and then all of a sudden, Hyper is going to have to try to contest the board to uh, get second, or just try to collapse ITCG's points. Looks like Hyper is getting a little bit of a build here. That's Ishan 10. Ishan 10. Ishan the Shaman phone is either... not looking good, though. You're definitely going to want to hit the 2S on that. Because waiting on 3s 7 mon is uh, no good. Oh, it, and opting to keep the play. four. Ah, I I don't I don't like that. I don't <laughs> like that at all. I don't think that's right. I mean, maybe I'm missing something, but 
Uh, actually, eh, you know what? Nah, I'm wrong. I, I think that is right. I think just like I talked about how the 3-7 uh, is a bad way, I think that's Hyper trying to move away from it without being committed to only drawing 2S to do so. With uh, something to stick on the form on, they can easily go away. Although, if they're just going to pair that up too. Ops to drop 7. Interesting. I guess hoping to hit like an 8M for your on vent on that side. This is a crazy hand worth literally nothing right now for GG. <laughs> I mean, even e Peko Tanyao reach is like all this is kind of looking to be. It's, it's one of those hands that looks so, so good and so scary, but then you look at it and it's, it's really not that much. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's a hard sell. Bonus. Really? You're going to take that and just go for it immediately? I guess a little bit nervous about how much time. The only problem is now you're free 10 if you draw 1 peen. Oh, well, but the toy toy comes it. out. Actually, yeah, good eyes by Junji. Yeah. Already one yeah, two okay, peen out. Could look a little bit more dangerous. You have con chances too. Very real con chances to try to upgrade your hand in terms of uh, value. Try to get something scary going. Hypera dug out of the Sean Pwn and wait. But still has some work to do towards developing the hand. Bane going to Dama on the Epeko. That is going to be a Ron tile for the 7S, but not looking very likely those are going to come out of anybody's hand. Especially not Hyper's hand when you've got the 5, 6, 7, and the 7, 8, 9. And... Oh, I completely missed. That's almost Sanchoku for Hyper. 5, 6, 7, Sanchoku chance. Although it's relying on the last 7, which is dead in David's hand, but. Oh, no. Jinji's going to get <laughs> David Deals with that's big, I believe that's 96. 77. A little bit off, but still good, good points. But again, Hypera has to get fourth. That's the problem here. That is a crazy starter. Double Tanya Ankos off the rip with Adora. Who, whose hand are we looking at? That uh, dealer, Junji. Very, very fast Ooh, hand right yeah. away. Already Ishanten. Yeah. On a Dora Tonki, possibly, too. I mean, it, hell, they could even opt to just go for, like, a Chinitsu and just drop all the Sozu. Not after that draw, but... A lot of options in the... Or, uh, Do in you... there. You have to... You have to find some way to get Hyper to get hit, though. Yeah, they, they really need to try to bring Hyper down and hope that... I mean, I guess you can hope David has a great south one deal and climbs over Hyper and just try to bring Hyper down past that, but... It, it's just rough. Oh, and the seven! No! That was the three-sided. <laughs> oh, that sucks. That's I agree with Junji, though. I think you absolutely drop eight nine there. I would have done the same thing. It just sucks that you get punished with the seven. Richie waiting <laughs> on the six mon. Nah, reading on it. Oh, one donkey. Okay. Actually, I think I think you are right though. I think six seven would have been better. Yeah, I think six seven mon was the better play there, just because you get two tiles and it's, or I guess it's technically one less because while you do get Tanya, you also sacrifice double Dora if you hit it. But, I mean, I think with a hand like this, sacrificing one on to uh, have a much, much better way to tell you where the... And that's going to be a reach from Fanichan, only waiting on three mon, which is completely dead in Juju's hand. How are we doing on one M's? One one M to see the light of day, too. It's a very interesting almost handlock scenario that we see. We're just looking for the last 1M right now.
Luigi. Oh, and David could oh, have David. the hand to beat. Richie on the six S. That's the most likely. There's one. Well, there's one more. Oh, Billy! Oh, I'm gonna sign it. Sumo oh. on the Dora. Billy. Beach. Sumo. Dora. Oh, I think that was a manga still though. Mango. Yeah, but that was that was the manga. That was good recognition by Ninja. Take the guarantee, manga. Yeah. That was definitely my bad. You would have had to hit nuts on the real. Mm -hmm. So definitely the better play there. Just Dora Tonki with it. David giving up 1k, furthering the gap. We we have a repeat three in East Two, and guess who the dealer is? Oh wait, let me look at the let me look at the player list. This will be fun. In East Two. Oh, I'm sure Jianlai, maybe. UTA. Oh no. Mark's They're in the lead. Off. Oh no, that's in... terrible. I first got breathing room. They're in the lead with 35.7 points, and everyone else is below 25. Oh no, that's not good. That means even if Hyper gets hit hard here, UTA is running off with it on the other table. That's the thing about teams tourneys like these. Uh, you can rely on your teammates and sort of use that to your advantage with how to play final position once it gets towards end tourney. Hyper too, very scary hand coming up. Concealed Boom. double Dora. Gonna have to play the fast Hanyao. Hyper's gonna... Hyper's gonna play this hand. Yeah, uh, maybe even incorporating a second Dora as well. Potentially, if another uh, two pin is dropped. Or Drew. Rune. That's a new word for yeah, me. Drune. It's like, I'm. there's gotta be a US regional dialect where they say it like that normally. Oh, come, come on. Oh, they gone? Watch, 1S comes up. With one three S. of them already on the board. Tournament of villains. Nope, nine no. comes up. Okay. No one's got a one peen anyways. And uh, no one right now, but there's still one peens to see. And that means that a one, two, three meld is going to be worth two Dora instead of one. So if Hyper decides to wait on two five, that is going to be a very scary area for people to drop into. Triple East or Concealed David. Hako of Ease. Interesting. Mane opting to con the eights. And a peen completely dead. Oh no, Epeko chance for David. Epeko, very interesting. <sighs> that Epeko's like kinda clumsy though, because you don't have any good weights you're leaving off for the rest of and, your hand. And in the other table, UTA just 11 7 with a sumo. Okay, well, let's pretend we don't know what that table is doing and that this is a competitive okay. game and we're going for high. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's disregard that. Let's assume that a quintuple gajillion Yakumon happens and uh, Hypera needs to not get fourth this game. Okay. So take it, but <laughs> let's, let's, let's forget let's that assume. table. Yeah. Uh, so, interestingly enough, David decides to kill the East Anko. I guess um, trying to pick up a little bit of value around Pinzu, maybe? Even though it slows the hand down, but... I think Junji has an idea to keep the VT steamroller going. Yeah. Yeah, Dom on the 3-6. I think that's worth it with... Actually, mm. Yeah. Oh, that's not what you want to do. And then Dora Ni for Hypera. I think, I think if you're Junji there, I think you actually do take the reach. It's a really scary situation, right? But the thing is, you have the reach, and nobody knows what door is in your hand, and you get three more Urdora. So everybody has to be extra, extra careful not to drop. Even if you have a bad weight, like there's a decent chance you get scared off, uh, and can even try to scare off like Dhamma people. Super scary because you think you might deal in, but I mean, with all that Dora on the board, I think you're 
has a reach, especially in dealer with three or uh, the scariest hand on the board that people are going to respect. Much better chance to retain dealership. Some, some Ankos on the table. Von Achan's arguably got the most valuable one with the triple of East. Maybe an out for half flush, but it's going to be a bit of a stretch. Yeah, um, especially with two greens, Dad. The Reds are still very much alive, but I mean, I, I think we have to see some good Monzu pickups before we start heading towards that route. I think even trying to keep the green in the red is a little ambitious. Junji with a very quick reach, too. Gonna be looking at just Avon. There are two out, so. Could see. Nope. Hyper recognizes the danger in the Avon. Hyper is not in that. Here, I was gonna say the problem here is that 5 8 still looks dangerous. And if 5-8 looks dangerous, then like 8 is also going to be dangerous. I think Junji's only dig out here is if they drop 5-mon, but 5-mon's dead. It's in everybody's hands. I pray, yeah, doing the right thing. Just kill your value. Monica, don't need it. Monica con this. They don't! Okay. It's not worth and it. Not they're, a reach. Yeah, they're playing safe. They're, yeah, they're playing safe. I didn't recognize especially the reach either. Especially when you're competitive, too. Like, ITCG still definitely has a chance um, for getting first, and you need to retain first in order for that to play out. So, I, I, Junji's the one person you gotta respect right now. You gotta try to take first on the table. Conning and trying to improve their value is just bad. You're also assuming Junji has at least a decent weight, even though it's a quick hand. In this case, not so much, but... Never know. It looks like there's one 8M still to be seen, too. Bonnie also has the green to play with. That's... Temp I dom it on the 4th for not... David. <laughs> is legal, is roundable, but... 4S does not look like it's coming out. One more to be seen. Well, they could also switch the Tonky weight here. I mean, yeah, but you also gotta kind of throw out the 4S in that scenario. Could see it here, actually. It's a good excuse to do it. Yeah. Rishi on the safe 5, looking at the same thing. Just 8. Not gonna do it. Or no, there's still one eight actually. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that was six P. Six oh, P that's is another also... eight. Also, oh. yeah, and that'll do it. And I have a strong feeling hyper is gonna go into no ten. Oh yeah, double fours to go off. Easiest no ten. Dominant on the six P. And yeah, everybody's locked. It's kind of weird that 7 no and ten. Then 4 got dropped. I would have thought you just dropped double in, 4 yeah. in that scenario, but... So, 3 resticks come to the board. Hyper drops down a little bit more, but still a very big gap to David. Although David has a nice little setup to try to regain some of those points right now. Med minimum 4k hands for any winning hand right now some good good value enough to bring David out of the negatives at least into south one here Von Achan's got a pair of east but it's not the east round anymore <laughs> yeah I mean that's fine though you do yeah. you do really want something quick though on this hand because again high high stakes three reach sticks on the table <laughs> ooh pair of nines Von A trying to maybe fake a Matsu Honitsu. Maybe also just playing towards it. Little too ambitious for my taste, but technically possible. I guess could also opt for the Chanta. That's a very valid option. Pick up a 2M and then a 7M in order to fill those out. Have pawns on the 9, peen in the east. Have an uncle for Junji. That's uh, 
That's Rion Shanta, and it's a little bit of a trap when you've got three pairs, because eventually you're going to have to put something down. Yeah, you're going to have to ditch one. Jinji, I'm going to try to kill uh, that. Work more towards some. Oh, and all of a sudden, Chitoi Shanta. Looking very real. Not even Shanta. Chitoi, whatever the old Terminal of Honors one is. Looking very <laughs> possible for Vanishana. That Anko, does that solve? Is that Tenpai? Yeah, that's four that's, seven Tenpai, right? No, still Ishan Ten. That's not ten that's not Tenpai. Still Ishan Ten after that, but very scary. Could also see some Son Anko nonsense or something like that, depending on drops. Is that a no that's not a call. Dave has absolutely got to build this hand and keep it closed here. Nah, Dave has just gotta to try to win. It, it looks really nice, but like with the reach Bones. sticks again on the board, you want to try to be competitive. Bonichon getting late in the round, opting to just open up. Oh, and the reach. Okay. Two Tour five on. on the two five mon. Oh, it's a little Beats. tough to sell. Opts to try okay. to get some biters. 1 2 M left, 2 5 M still to be seen as well. JJ gonna offer the quick Tanya. Bonnie John building that up again. 2 5 could, could be, be a Joy Joy Old Terminals Honors. This could be a Hanuman hand from Bonnie John. 1 M pickup, some good sumos. And Bonnie John full pushing. I don't know if I agree with that. 6 is looking not good. Oh. Does the white come out? White comes out. That's Tenpai. That's Tenpai. That's Chantador 3. That's Mangon. If 1M gets picked up too, that goes instantly to Hanemon. Might even be Baimon. Not too many draws to do it. Fortune favors the Brave. 7M comes down. Oh, 1Ms are dead though. Toy Toy is still worth more points. If Ease comes out, you gotta call it. Wait on the three Oh, oh sumo. sumo! David sumo. gets it! The sumo! Oh. Diffuses the board. Get 6k from Six it. Close thousand. the points on the skip. Oh, wait, that's. Close points! Climbing! Chant threatening Hyper for a fourth now. And all of a sudden, Hyper, uh. A little nervous. South 4, too. Or South 4 dealer. Definitely a little scary. If David has a good run here, can try to bring Hypera down, this could be... This could... All of a sudden, we got a game on our hands. We got something interesting. ITCG leading that could bring that up, bring them up. Combine that with UTA going down, and we we could. I mean that that could be the pathway for ITCG to become champs. It very much could be. I mean the table is definitely opened up with that route, uh, depending again on how well David does and how threatened Hyper feels with a fourth get here. Panishan does have white Yakuhai. You think about playing if it comes down, but I mean, honestly here, I think you just let David try to steamroll. Try to mm -hmm. avoid dealing from Junji. Although Junji is Ishanten on Chi Toy right now. Also has option just to play a standard, uh, not a Pinfu, but some sort of uh, Tanya Shampon win. With me being biased towards UW, I would like to see David steamroll. I mean, I don't know about steamrolling, but just at least building see? up a couple of hands here is going to be very, very big. Interesting call. I mean, I get trying to cement your dealership, but yeah, that's, that's low on value, and you're not furthering your hand that much with that. I don't think furthering the hand basically at all with that. I guess you are, but you're you're leaving yourself on risky waters with a one pin draw here. Although Sanshoku is a possibility, although it is slow. Could see four or five mon try to get picked up here. 
Play three, four, five, Sanchoku. Huh? Okay, yeah, Would that be a pawn? One, four, it's risky, but... but yeah, I'm gonna opt to just risky. hope that the four comes out. Too it. bad, too dead, not getting played in Hyper's hands. Could also could also change the champ pawn if the draw comes out that way. Yeah, if six M comes out or sixteen, the last one. No, it's last sixteen is dead. So, I, I mean, I think the only way I'm seeing this going David's way is if 18 comes out and the weight gets swapped and maybe, hopefully, getting... No, last 3-peen's dead, too. But yeah, I just can't see this going well for, uh, for David. Deech. Oh, reach on the Seven south. Seven pairs on the south. Is that recognition going to be there? David has nothing safe. Are they going to get backed up? Could Tempai on the 4? Off to Tempai on the 5-8. Hold on. That was a draw I missed. That's big. Oh, save time from above. This one I trying to have the recognition. No! No. David Don't pulls this. it. With no sounds cleared on the board. So. Hypera takes it off David. Ground is missing though. David needed a lot more of that. No dealer turns left as well, so David is going to have a hard time trying to catch up, push Hypera down. Hypera is going to need to take a hard hit right now to start feeling threatened. We could have some bonus coverage after this game actually, because the other table is only in East 3 right now. Oh jeez. <laughs> we got a quick one going on. <laughs> Maybe we might have to get a rep to call it early if <laughs> if it's in East 3, but UTA is up by 70k. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I prefer it gets like second in this one. Implement the running clock. <laughs> the hard set off time, everybody's gonna pull. <laughs> yeah, my prayer's got a pretty nice hand right now, too. Looking on an inside villain. Anko at nines too. Not worth a lot, but I mean, you don't need to have a lot of value right now. Your best case scenario is Vanichan not getting first and you not getting fourth. Those are like your two kind of must have conditions. Even if you go down a little bit, who cares? What was that south drop from David? They were E Shantan for seven pairs. Yeah, but like in that scenario, I think. Value than seven pairs. She toy is a pretty valueless hand. You're Eat. locking yourself as Mogon only most of the time. Three G three six. Not terrible. See now, Wait, is it just three six? Uh, is that three six four seven? No, I'm having a stroke. It is just three six. Just you know, Hyper is beginning to Hyper is beginning to play a little bit more and that could um open up ways for him to like auto run into someone. Very possible. I mean David's got a little bit cooking in. Junji not too much. Yeah, Junji's still far back. Probably gonna back off. Don this Oh, in. David, yeah. Leechi, Dora. Doesn't recognize the 6P in danger, and I... I'm gonna have a hard time seeing uh, Hyper have this slip away from them. Boom. Oh, and quick. That's, That's easy call from Hyper. Oh, free. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, you gobble up ease, you gobble up nine. Oops. I'm on the wrong boom. video here. But yeah, yeah, ease comes out. My pro has got a north call, and then still Ishan 10 after that, but still a fast, boom. scary looking hand from everybody else's position. Oh, if you're hyper there, you drop eight. Absolutely. Now that you drop the one, uh, people know you're not playing terminals and honors. See the Shin special from Hypera, but that would put Hypera at a lot of risk. Yeah, 
it, yes. Very indefensible hand. I mean, with how quick this is, though, like, how much do you really care? People know that you're taunting, but they don't know what tile you're taunting on. You can lock them in. And then it looks like we have a Sanshoku chance for David. Sanshoku Chanta. Yeah, Sanshoku Chanta, that's not bad. That's uh, two. It's a good three Han, not too bad. Even if it with a South picked up, could start to transfer to a Mongon. But Hypera, gonna be Tempai on that 8S. Still one more to be seen. Junji trying to sort their hand out. Gonna need to drop a 7 pin at some point, it looks like. But, two Rion Men's. Ishan Tana at the moment as dealer. Could be a hand that gets Hypera to back off if a scary tile is drawn. Oh, and a huge pickup, but no! Hyper gets the perfect pickup power right before. Hats. Yeah. Points. Fifty-two hundred. This could, this could be that. runaway for you. It's TA like now. That. If you are hyper here, you are not even messing around. You are throwing tempi. This is your last hand. Vane is in second. You are not in fourth. You end this game immediately, so there is no Yakuman nonsense or double Yakuman craziness that happens at stand. You chill out, maybe even get rid of dangerous tiles now, and then call it a day. I might even, honestly, if I'm hyper in this situation, I might just start by throwing like 4S out immediately. And checking to see if yeah. anybody has a pawn of it. Just immediately defusing like the pawn of it or the high value and then just leaving it from there. David going for the Hail Mary play here. I I yeah. Not even. Not even. Yeah. I yeah. I mean you need something you need to hit Hypera with it. So huh? Dyson gun's open. Still possible. Still very possible. I per a interesting. Not opting to try to push the hand. Not opting for safest play. And just folding out, trying to end the game. Oh, that's Dyson getting dead. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be no, injury. don't even. Don't even. No, wait. No. No, that's still Tenpai, though. No, no, I mean, it's Dama, but it's insult to injury at this point. You just want to end the game. Really, if I'm hyper, yeah. uh, I just, like, reach, push. Ev no, because even if you reach, then the game still continues. No. Yeah, end the game here. Junji just takes a Tanya, decides Tanya. to end the game in first, improve BT score. BT being very hard or very far behind, so makes sense. Try to cement maybe uh, second for VT overall. Can't blame him. All right, might as well go into bonus coverage because there's like another half a half of a game that still needs to be played. Yeah, I don't think there's any shot that UTA doesn't take top for this, but might as well at least give a check to you. now uh so i am going to update all these as we are only halfway through this game try to update all these scores BT only at 0.3, not too bad after that. GG definitely helping them claw out of a major, major.
ドラJust ab, I mean, just just an absolute run by UTA. I think that third, I think the third Hanchan slot was really pivotal for them, getting oh, yeah, they got getting plus, both players to win. They got over a hundred points just in that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those double firsts right there were were insane. They were so so big. That was that that was the turning point of the tournament, I think. And and I think from here, there's no looking back. No, especially with Hyperro only getting that third and going down, but like still not enough. It, yeah, there's just no way. Especially with this table, it's they're they're so so far ahead. There's almost no chance. Kevin G gonna have to think it through. No danger in the hands. But still a little wary. It's gonna be a 3 6 weight. Actually, still, or no, there's two 3 mons and one 6 mon left. You think they're see if they can pick it up. Hmm. You think it's that time of the tournament where they're dropping where they're dunking Peter in the bat of Gatorade yet? Um I mean, I don't know about Peter, but I mean if anybody I'd dunk Kieran. Kieran got over a hundred points just by themselves. Mm. Yeah. Kieran went up uh fifty six points almost. Just by their lonesome. A little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a storyline for this. I mean, for I am thus far UTA, um, just just like heartbreak after heartbreak. Yeah, they I mean, have it, not it, showed up so far. almost um, at any tournament I can think and, of, but are just a strong the, school where it never came together. Mahjong Mahjong Madness. Their their sole representative, I think, was. I mean, I th they might have had two players in, in there, but Peter got screwed. I mean, m might have gone screwed out by the Agariyame rule mm, yeah. um, in, in the semifinals. Um, teams, UTA did not make it. Um, individuals this semester, UTA did not did not make it. Now they're now they're one game away from cementing from cementing themselves as the team's the team's champion for the semester. Very and cementing confidently away, or very confidently and, too. 
and cementing Texas as the state of Mahjong for this semester. Yeah. Texas is having a hell of a showing this year. Okay, we, okay, we could see some action here. Ooh, big hand, too. 77. Good enough. Knocks Mario out of first. Mm -hmm. Still not enough, um, because Wisconsin is the team that almost has no shot at going positive. And Wisconsin is... Wisconsin is winless so far this finals. They are 2-3-2 two, two at the record. Definitely not what you want. Here's the thing though. Shudaparu still got a dealership. All they need is to get plus 200 or 300k. And Wisconsin can take it. You talk, you talk about getting 200 or 300k like it's easy. Listen. Everybody can always get a triple Yakim on the start as dealer. Mm -hmm. Is it like absolutely not? Bonya. But it is possible given the game's rule sets. So, worst comes to worst, you just build hand after hand and hope you hit that as well. Who knows? Maybe even Shudaparu hits the legendary. Uh, I believe six tuple Yakuman. Six tuple Yakuman. Which I don't even remember all the conditions of how it has to be met. I, I think it's true Suanko. Uh, no, no, it's not true Suanko. It's four big wins. True four big wins. All terminals. Blessing of Heaven. Um, and then I forget where the other, and then that's also Suanko. So, yeah, all they need is that. I don't think anyone's ever gotten one before. At least a true one. That's not in, like, a game mode, like the Saki one going on, where, uh, you get to, like, pick your tiles out of a group of three. <laughs> so, you know. I have yet to play... I've yet to play that mode, actually. It's it's all right. It takes so long. An East game is as long as a South game because you have to like spend five <laughs> seconds picking your tile every time. It is interesting, <laughs> but it's it's one of those that I, I feel isn't super fun to grind. But playing with some friends would be quite a blast. Soon, soon to be Captain Champion Peter said it was information overload. Yeah, it is a lot going on from everybody. It definitely is making a Disney simulator. Eight comes out. Mara playing a little bit of D. Still on that Sean Pone weight. Okay, Kevin. Kevin. She's gonna end the hand. Let's go, Kevin. Keeping UTA down. That's right. Try to get a third in instead of a second. Into south, into south three now. The countdown is on for UTA. It's getting quite close. If, so Shudaparu, this is Shudaparu's game to lose. Uh, if Shudaparu follows the game plan, gets plus two hundred right here, right now, on the dealer. It is going to go great. Otherwise, not looking good for Wisconsin. 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 Double yawn in here. Well, one part of... Appar apparently one part of the Wisconsin dialect is how we say B-A-G. You don't say bag? Bag. Like a bagel? Like bag. a bagel. Bag. Bag. <laughs> say it like badge. It's so weird. Um, what is Shudapar doing here? Um, yeah, no, guess, probably no thinking about what to cut. yet. Yeah, I mean, I think there you kind of just take the Tanya. Could be pair Tonky. I mean, could be two sided Tonky wait. Yeah, I could have also opted to ditch the uh, three. I don't really know what to do here. Yeah, I guess do that. Tonky out something, except none of your Tonkies are that good. Just a bit awkward all the ways around.
Well, there's a pair, finally. Six. You can opt to dish a 2-3. Uh... Doesn't like it, just gonna try to get in the 10-5 with highest uh, possible tiles, and then force people off of reach. I get it. I respect it. for Kevin. Uh, really gotta have to push the half flush now if they want to win this hand. Uh... Yeah. Kevin, hey, just disrupting the board. Agent of Chaos, <laughs> you got to respect it. <laughs> Farmon coming out. Oh, should've kept that six. Would have been a template right now, could have reached on it, shoot -o. Yeah, still looking for that template draw, not finding anything out. Oh, well, speak of the devil. Well, now they're gonna have to talk you something. Yeah. The three. The three, okay. Um. Mm, I mean, fair enough. Just two twos out, some fours. You figure. Decent chance dealers waiting on the round then. Maybe I'll drop the three. Although if they would have dominated a turn, then they could have reached on the Dora. That would have been real good. Or they even could have taken the round then seven four. Uh, would have been an absolutely horrendous round then. I think Kevin's just now seeing the no Yaku message. Nah. Nah. Oh. Nah, reach on Kaiho. <laughs> Easy. Reach on Kaiho. <laughs> Easy. Can you imagine? Can you imagine though? It's plausible. No north out. Wait, how are fives looking? There's all single five left. The storyline is set. What's that reach on? That's three six zero. Oh. Let's see, does Kevin G recognize 6M is much safer? Gonna be... I don't know, okay. 6M is dead, this could be bad. The wrench on Kaiho plan will not work out if 6M is the final wave tile. Just to kill the two... Huh. Is a safe Maybe tile versus the rage, yeah. VT my con here? No? Okay. Wait, what was the con tile? Uh, 9 peen. Oh, nah, yeah, against all that, you don't want to give value. Screw that. Haven't got mystery. a choice to make here. Yeah. Feels into Callum. Feels into Mar. No. Sanchoku, and that'll be the Mangan, yeah. With the Anko ones. And now Wisconsin's in position to go winless in the finals again. Wisconsin is definitely possible to do that. They would need to pass... Uh... Pass Marv down 2k right now exactly 2k luckily not the hardest barrier to break but not exactly a good hand to do it with john line about to make the vt run of their life if john line gets a plus like 50 or 60 here and it's all because of marv dealings BT could win it all in a freak turn of events. <laughs> freak turn of events. It's it's all last though. We're Hey, Gariyama is not on. Could just climb, climb, climb. Yeah. 
I'm just imagining Virginia Tech climbing, climbing a ladder and just like not looking down and just keeps climbing and climbing towards a championship. It's like an unlikely falling, championship. But every domino is just a tile they take and open up with. Yeah. Ooh, door picked up. Could see maybe the two pin drop. Yep. Yep. I like it, I like it. Could also see Yakuhai just come out from Jump Night here. Take the easy points. Four pairs for uh I mean for Marv. That is a good Dama hand. Very safe. Cheat toy is very, very safe to back out of, if so desired. Very, very plausible. Kevin G got a nice hand building up to, I believe, not quite Ishan 10, but getting real close. John Lani can't take that, gonna opt to drop the south probably. Kevin doesn't want that for us, says I'm going for E2, I don't need that, I already got one of those. I just need one nine. Ooh, John Lai decision to make. Could see 9M come out. Nope. Ops to hold shape. Only problem with that is you're kind of gearing to end on 7M and 4-6. So is one of your better um is one of your better upgrade kind of sections. Yep, pawn does come out. So now E Shantan on that 1 4. Bonya. As well as the 7M by itself, but all of a sudden, only one 1M one left. Look, Mar Marv could close this out with a toy toy. Four's done. It's looking like it. Although North Bonya. is dead. So it's just 2S. Just 2S now. Oh my god, there are no 2S's on the board. Villain oh, time. Is it villain time. time? It's villain time, man. <laughs> Not like this. Nor is they're dead. I mean, they have to play it. The only other out they have is Tanya, which... Debatably alright. With the 7 drop, but... Still not looking good. Definitely not trading out the Norris with that three drop. Or no, Tanya is actually really bad. Six is fully dead, pretty much. Some one left before. Yeah, I think you just gotta prey on the two S. You don't have a much better option. Everybody else kind of just has to ignore what's going on. John Knight gonna try to open up for just a five mon drop. Oh, Kevin G. The E2 is real. The E2. The E2 is real. Um, I'm like multitasking a bunch of things right now. I mean, that's fair. I know. Well, you're multitasking, John, in the most exciting... In the most exciting end of... Uh, most exciting end of the team's tournament to ever happen. Nothing's gonna, I mean, for a while, for a while, for a while at least nothing's gonna top like VT Shogun and VT Tanya battling it out. True, yeah, that was awful. Yeah. T. That was awful! Yeah, I hate seeing, I hate seeing uh, Brandon in the finals, Narwhal. That sucks, <laughs> I can't stand that. He's done it too many times. Yeah, Bill and Dime. Bill and Dime. Oh! oh! <laughs> That's rude. That's rude. Boo. Boo. Is it really oh, going to go to no 10 after Marv does that? Or are you just going to run? They can't, they can't run. Oh, yeah, it's free. It's true for a 10. Oh, my God. No, John Light's not going to be able to get 10 by. That's so messed up. 
Uh, <laughs> that is heinous. Just, just that is disrespectful. Wild. That is, that is so disrespectful. Oh, and oh, you can't no. she on the last drop. Damn. Well. Well, make the call now. Well, nah. Listen, this polls are in. Polls are in. Stats are written. Uh, it's it's a UTA sweep. Nothing else state to of, call it. The state of Texas is the state of Mahjong. UT Austin wins the team's tournament for fall 2022. Yeah, UT Austin pulls it out, does the impossible, and finally ends their bad streak of tournament runs with a very, very confident first. An extremely confident first. Let me see if I can get it working to... Uh... Get this spreadsheet up. We can get all the full stats in front. First, let's switch over to a quick splash screen. So let's see if I can get this working. Full screen that joint. And then let's do this. So we'll boost that over. Okay, so let's let's take a look at our final stats going on here. So coming in fourth, Wisconsin. Good showing. Couldn't no. quite get a first off. I mean, happens. Uh, I, mean, I mean, against UT happened. Austin too. You guys were mm -hmm. you guys were one first out from getting third, maybe even yeah. second. But you, Wisconsin coming in minus ninety one point six. ITCG looking very confident in the first half. Dropped down to negative forty four point eight to take third. VT Sumo. VT team going to be looking at minus 30.5 and the story of it all UTA with two players going plus 105 and some change going to be up 166.9 an absolutely commanding lead in this tournament we got we got ye and um I mean, in general, oh, for an interview, we got a, po a post-game interview with the winner. So let's hop in right now. Let's let's get some opinions, the hard mm -hmm. takes, the all nine yards. Garen, happy to have you. How are you feeling as part of the um, collegiate I mean, college general, champions? Well, feel pretty nice. Feels Texas good. finally got recognized as the capital of Mahjong. Yes. <laughs> Finally, UTA is not taking back seats uh, in Dallas or anyone else now. No other. I remember Texas last year them. participating in the tournament, and uh, I would say we played well last year, but definitely not the luck that we had earlier today. Yeah, I mean, what do you what do you attribute your team's success towards? What are what are you thinking towards that? Float up, playing mm. well. What went right? Walk us through it. I mean, you got over 105 points alone in the first two Hanchons. <laughs> the essence of Mahjong is just flow. And that's okay. what, what won us the game today. <laughs> uh, but to be more specific, uh, our Mahjong club is just a circle of hardcore Mahjong fans and several uh, regulars and some like players who will occasionally show up. So uh, we only have officers uh, participating in this tournament. So mm. you can see like we're all expert or master in Mahjong. So I think that's uh, one of our one of the advantages that we had against other schools because you can see adept or even novice player playing other schools mm -hmm. and yeah flow and a little oh, bit I'm putting the strongest experience. first 
That'll definitely, <laughs> that'll definitely help. Uh, John, you got any more questions for the winner's circle? Anything really picking your mind? Are you going to celebrate going back to work or? <laughs> uh, well, it's Thanksgiving, so probably, I don't know, mashed potato with gravy. Hey, mashed let's go. Classic. Classic Thanksgiving. It is Thanksgiving meal. coming up after all. Yep. It is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Absolutely. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, everybody watching. Good times. Well, don't want to keep you too long. Kieran, thanks for stopping by, having a chat, doing a good post game interview, well, and congratulations. Thank you for the game. Yeah, congratulations thank on the win today, me. too. Very confident 166.9 showing. Definitely nothing to turn your head about. Uh, I try not to make efficiency mistakes. <laughs> hey, clearly must have worked out. Right. Thank you. Yep. Thank Congrats. you. Congrats. Take care. Well, I think that is going to about do it. Want to thank everybody for watching. Hope everybody had a good time and an exciting finals. A lot of the times That's in good. these tournaments, the last Hanshan doesn't exactly go as close as you want it to. But I think the beginning games before that definitely had enough value towards them. Mm -hmm. Even disregarding that. Uh, so some yep. shout outs first discord also shout out to the I am discord make sure you hop in there if you're not already I assume most people watching will be but just in case you're not look up I am discord we should be in most other mahjong discords online too. the main place for your intercollegiate mahjong needs John you got you anything gotta... uh, you want to add on mr. tournament runner I'm going to steal the mic a little bit. You got it. You got it. Um, This is the second wave of tournaments that I have been run on. I, I mean, run through intercollegiate Mahjong. I've never played in it. I've never played in or observed a tournament before doing this. So, um, be, I mean, so I'm coming up and doing this was a little bit hard. I had to learn a lot. Um, shout out to Northwestern for helping, for like, I mean, the, the former guys at Northwestern for helping us, like, get this together. Um, there's kind of a, there's kind of a trope going on with the NCAA these days where, um, it, I mean, it's kind of, I mean, it's kind of viewed as like old men, like kind of bossing over, kind of bossing over college students who are who are desperately in need and um the i'm trying to i'm trying to war this right um i it 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 kind of feels like the ncaa is a little bit out of touch with call I mean, with the with colleges especially after the whole like pay the players um movement now we have nit deals and such um i don't wish for i am to go down this route um I think I I think um the I think the college mahjong community is growing um but being able to keep a pulse on being able to keep a pulse on the I mean on the tone of the intercollegiate mahjong community is going to be important especially like being there on the ground because I'm not even going to be in Madison uh after I I'm not even going to be be in Madison after I graduate I'm moving back to Milwaukee so I'm gonna be even further from the club there. So um, my graduation, my graduation from college is coming up in May, and approximately a week after graduation finishes, I will no longer be the head of intercollegiate mahjong. Um, I'm going to open up app, open up res, I mean, open up applications sometime next semester. Um, start the search for my successor ideally i would like i am to continually be handed off so that it's so that this stays like a, a by students for students sort of thing and um we can i mean it it kind of it kind of keeps that sense i mean that sense of i am being a student run thing a student run competition um so yeah applications will open up sometime in the spring um 
With that being said, I'm sorry for the downer bombshell, but um, I I will um, I do want to go out with a bang and intercollegiate mahjong as you know it now might this might be the last you know of of the intercollegiate mahjong you know currently because next semester we're gonna be trying out a ten to twelve week league. A 10 to 12 week league. I am very excited about about this. More details will come in the server. So yeah, yeah, that's all I have to say. Yeah, make sure you are headed out there. That is going to be super exciting. Right now in the U.S. especially, um, it's not a lot in terms of leagues. There's Armel, which is a fantastic lead. I'm a player in Armel. I love it. Um, but besides that, you maybe have like a couple people at your college. You maybe run an informal league there. So having Intercluget Mahjong is not only a warm up and alternative, well, not alternative to Armel, but maybe as a warm up to more professional play and something um, for students is going to be super, super sick. And you are definitely going to want to get into it. And while we don't know who's going to take over after John or what the plans are going to be, um, I'd imagine it is something that is going to stay and hopefully grow into something way bigger than we could ever imagine. Mm -hmm. But, oh yeah, that's, that's all I've got. Yeah. Uh, thanks, John. Great, great speech. I'm sure everybody's super excited. And thanks again just for hosting and starting Armel and doing starting all this just cause. Yeah. Well, not don't, Armel, excuse don't, me. Don't starting I am. Starting I am. Excuse me. It's, it's all five good. Hour, five hours of commentary, you know. It's <laughs> all good. But yeah. yeah, starting I am and just taking the time to do this, set everything up, run the tournaments, creating great graphics. You do graphics for whoever wins teams or individuals. You made all the logos. You know, you started the stream up. I didn't, the work for around. the record, I didn't make the logo. It was actually someone from Purdue who made the logo. Okay, but well, shout out to someone for Purdue. But so you do a lot around here. And mm -hmm. yeah, I mean... Something that everybody loves throughout the yeah. semester. It's something that people have been looking forward to just at the end of the semester, but now people are going to be looking forward to as it goes. I'm, I'm not. I mean, I'm not going to completely be gone from IM. I, I would still love to do commentary or help out in some way that I can. Oh yeah, you'll still be around, yeah. but even just again, the one, the only John Mahjong setting everything up, holding it down, given. Whoever else is going to take over uh, a good needed base start and mm -hmm. doing a lot of heavy lifting in order to get it off the ground and running. Thank you. I yeah, think thank you. that will finally do it. I think that is going to be it. I have been Suizo or Harrison with the legendary John Mahjong. UW John. That nickname is so old now. <laughs> nah, John Mahjong bangs. John Mahjong is good. I'll defend Okay. It. But hope everybody has a good Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Peace out.